listeners. Woo! Welcome back to another episode of Spoil the Beans. The Beans. That's the French version of the show for our French <laughs> listeners. And we're glad you're back. Hey! We're glad you're back. Uh, oh my God, a lot of fun. This is the season finale. Yep. Season finale of season nine. Is that what we're on? Yeah, nine seasons. Bro. Nine seasons. Damn, we nine did it. Nine motherfucking seasons. Uh, we this have is the last season. Last episode of that. We have yeah, we have lasted as long as Seinfeld. Nine seasons. <laughs> we, we sure have, buddy. Yeah, we did it, guys. You guys said we wouldn't make it Seinfeld long, and here we are. Here we are. No, everybody said that. Everyone said you're never gonna make it as long as Seinfeld when we started this podcast, which yep. is a really weird thing to say. Yep. But that's what they all told us. And look at look at you now, you fucking idiot. Probably dead from COVID. Oh, Jesus. Well, that's oh, what you get for doubting us. Let's not put uh, that on them, huh? Don't uh, doubt us! Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, but, nigga, nine seasons, man. I can't believe we've lasted this long. And I know you're, for everyone who's just got in the podcast, uh, what the fuck are they talking about? We split. The fuck are you talking about? We, not knowing. We split every season up into 16 episodes. For what reason? None. Pick no one. <laughs> we just did it. Pick your own reason and, and that's go how, with it. That's how we look at it. So this is the ninth season of it. Uh, it makes it fun for us. It gives us uh, ways to split up the, split it up and kind of keep it fun and fresh. Mm-hmm. Like uh, today, we're gonna end on some super fun stuff. And to our, oh my god, we're starting the next the next episode that you guys will get to see. Even more fun stuff. Yep. We're starting the season off with a motherfucking bang, and you'll see that on the next episode. But right now, we're in this episode, and we're talking about big old meat sausage. Well, yeah, I watched Sausage Party. Because that's last week's episode. Yep, and I got to talk about it before Understand we Understand the fucking podcast already. Yep. Jesus. Thank you. Yeah, it was a lot, a lot softer burp than I thought it was going to be. Um... Yeah, I watched it. Uh, what a crazy fucking movie, huh? Pretty funny, huh? Yeah, very funny. Very the, Just the idea of just making these grocery items so vulgar is funny. Yeah. The, the, amount of, the amount of cunts, the amount of, like, it's just, I can't imagine being in theater for the whole orgy awesome. scene. Oh, my God. It was awesome. The orgy scene was crazy. There were scenes I had to, uh, there were scenes I watched twice just because I enjoyed them so much. The... The the scene where they all follow the grocery cart and it's like a war scene. That's funny. Yeah, that one was good. And like, yeah, the cream of mushroom is trying to put himself back. Put himself together. his stomach back in. Yeah. <laughs> I can make this better. I'll make this better. Oh, the fucking peanut, peanut butter, butter is jam. to his wife. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, that shit was fucking dark, dog. It was funny, funny dark, good dark. Yeah, they kept uh, they kept it in the world. They did. Did you like what I meant about the way the colors were? It's like they weren't bright. They were bright, and then they got very bland. Oh yeah, when they went from like, uh, like the the color shift when they went from the the actual like f- food to when the humans, mm-hmm. where it was like stark, very dark. Yeah, yeah. it was like okay, okay. There's like uh, it's so it is bland when the human the humans are the focus, and then when the an when the animals when the you you want to say animals. I you want to say animals? Isn't that weird? You want to say animals because they're all animally, right? It, everything about you wants to call them animals. And they have legs and arms. Little hands. Yeah, little hands. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the most unsettling thing are the legs that Chris, the bun has. They're so unsettling. Oh, bro. The yeah. legs that Chris and Brenda? Yeah. Oh, my God. And the tacos legs don't make any sense. Yeah. <laughs> it's just like, what is happening? <laughs> yeah. The, uh, that, um, it was just, it was, I, I laughed a lot. It was, it was a lot of fun. Yeah. It was, it was a lot of fun. Um, it's interesting that they kept the, I guess that, well, because it's so vulgar, it makes sense that the animation's pretty simple. You know what I mean? Like, uh, everything is, like, all the shapes are, like, it's square is a square. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. There's no, nothing overly complex about the animation. No. It's, uh, <clears throat> no, I mean, it's good. It, it's, it doesn't look bad. Mm-hmm. It's just... Uh, I it like is simple. That. Simple. Yeah, I mm-hmm. like that they did that. I like that, though. I, like a, I mean, I like a good South Park animation. You know what I mean? I like a good family. Like, I like that. I get that. You know? But I also like some, I mean, you know, good animation. Like, animation is dope, too. I'm like, I get that now, re like watching this anime show, but I like a, a good American style fat animation is what I'll call it. Yeah, like well, what great <laughs> anime to me is like Boondocks, but they you can tell that style of animated show is based off like some anime shit, right? Because the way mm-hmm. they look, everything's sharp, everything's like mm-hmm. you know what I mean. Whereas like America, like Family Guy anime is like fat. They like all the characters are like they're not like. Like that looking. You no, know what I'm no, 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 no. Yeah, I see what you're saying. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Not a lot of sharp angles. Not a lot of sharp angles. Everything is rounded off in this. In this. Yeah. But I, it's, a, it's, a, it's like an anime style. A lot of people, I mean, like, a, a shit, niggas, Utopia is that way. You know what I'm saying? Or, you know, like, lots of, but 
Zootopia just they have way better effects. Yeah, Zootopia is a little, Zootopia is you know a little more involved in the animation. But I, I meant the round, like the the yeah, soft yeah. shapes. No, yeah, Zootopia is distinctly American. That style yeah, yeah, yeah. of animation is very distinctly American. But the, like I said, this this one I think, I think the, the the choice to keep it simpler was because of the content. What they're saying is insane. Yeah, you don't need a you don't need crazy animation when you got fucking god conversations between hot dogs and buns. Yeah, and they're like, I want to fuck, and they're like, fucking, they're fucking. It's really funny that. And then fuck. you and you like see people's testicles in this too. Oh yeah, Lavash has balls. Lavash has balls. The the manager, you see his balls. Yeah, you see his balls. Yeah, who they blow up. They my blow god. that nigga up. Yeah, my god. I wonder like what happens. During the cleanup of that, like oh, how, the next day, yeah, like I, I was just thinking, like, what do the people who investigate that even think happens? Or do you even tell the public? Do but you, you even tell the public, like, hey, a grocery store went rogue and yeah. killed like ten people? Oh yeah, how? Because then you'd see the you'd see the security footage and be like, what the fuck? All oh, the security footage would be insane. You couldn't tell anyone. Also, but your security footage, because you have to be high on bath salts to see the way they saw it. Yeah. So your security footage would look like raw food is killing people. <laughs> Unless you did bath salts. Yeah, right? If I'm sticking to the logic of this world. Yeah, did this, this deformed hot dog blow up the manager? Bro, there's you see a guy laying down, licorice holding him down. Mentos jump in his mouth and then soda jump in his mouth. It was pretty intense. Yeah. Like if you're just watching that on camera, nigga. Soda, the licorice, and the, the, I mean the soda and the Mentos were better to die free than live in bondage. <laughs> yeah, and then they bondage. killed themselves. <laughs> fuck, dude. What the fuck is going on? Fuck. That's some good ass writing though. Fuck. <laughs> I don't know how else to say it, but that is really good. It's like, yo, Al, what a funny way to use Mentos and Coke. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like as a suicide, as a kamikaze jet. Yeah, that was a suicide mission that they, they they ran to save the store from this one fat guy. People used to do that, bro. People used to kamikaze jet. Yeah, Isn't that crazy. I mean, not too long ago. Very recent. Yeah, very. I recent. mean, like nigga, that was yesterday. <laughs> yeah, people. Uh, people uh, when they believe in stuff, they're willing to kill themselves for the greater good. Yeah. At least that's they how were they talking see it. shit sometimes. Uh, they would talk shit about the Americans who didn't have the balls to do that. To uh, kill themselves? Mm-hmm. I get that. I get that, too. I, mean, I get that being American your whole life. Being like, dude, I don't think that way. Yeah. <laughs> it's just like, I just don't, it's just hard for me. You can get there easier than I can get there. Well, yeah, Japan was on some crazy mental shit. You hear, like, there's no way there's an American that would stay in the jungle for 70 years still fighting the war. That's some Japanese way of thinking. Yeah, dude. Yeah. Yeah. The fuck was going on? Well, you know. The, the 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 flip side is they handle the pandemic way better. Who Japan? Yeah, it's a, well, it's, yeah, it's, it's, a it's a collective. Big... It's a collectivist thinking, right? It's all for one, one for all. Exactly. So, so like, of course you can handle the pandemic better. Yeah, yeah. Like the best part about living in America is that we don't think that way. Yeah. Like that, that is the be- like that's the best part. That's why we have the best art. Why do we have the best art? Because everybody gets to fucking think what they want to think, and in doing that, you're gonna get some crazy cool art. Yeah. You get some crazy art. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But. You know, a lot of other things aren't going to go right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so that's the trade-off. Do you want to be like Japan and everybody looks the same and dresses the same and kind of feels the same? Or, you know, <laughs> you want Taylor Swift? New album's good. Huh? I listened to it. New album, oh, the new, new Taylor Swift. It sounds like uh, mm-hmm. some Fleetwood Mac shit, bro. Or uh, what's her name? On Fleetwood Mac. Stevie Nicks. Stevie Nicks. Yeah, she curses in it. I was like, oh, yeah, look at she's Taylor. Yeah, she's a folk. She's all folky. Yeah. She's all folky. I like that shit. I like that new album, and I like, uh, I love Logic's new album right now, bro. That shit's hard, nigga. The idea of a rapper, bro, I've never heard a rapper rap about, like, retiring. It's a first. That's a first. Yeah, he's saying he's done. No, but, like, to rap about it. I've heard a million people say I'm done in interviews. Uh, Yeah, that's big. Everybody. Who hasn't heard somebody in an interview say I'm done? Very rare does a nigga like catch a touchdown pass, take off his helmet, and go, I'm done. And like and it's like not even halftime. And you're yeah. like, whoa. <laughs> what? You're doing this now in the game? Like he did it like he was rapping about it on the album. Right. How that how this is it. You're not you're not gonna hear from me again. And I love how he said in the interviews, he's like, I love that people think I'm playing, but they're gonna look up in five years and be like, Holy shit, he hasn't done anything since then. Damn. 
I wonder, I wonder what he's going to do with his life. He says in the album. What does he say? Shoot guns. Be a dad. Fucking chill. Uh, relax. I mean, he, luckily, he's not going to do music anymore, but he's still going to do other stuff. Like, he, uh, you know he's making a movie with J.J. Abrams? Wild. Like, J.J. is, well, he's making the movie. J.J. Abrams bought his movie. Okay. He's he's going to direct and write. Okay. And J.J. Abrams is producing. Okay. Okay. So it's like, clearly. So he's I mean, doing other artistic yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's just, uh, you know, he's not doing rap anymore. Yeah, I was going to say, if the, the, the artist in him, there's no way that's going to stop. Yeah. But uh, I've never seen a rapper rap about retiring. Wow. In their prime, too. Like, it's not like he's like, it's not like you're looking at Logic like, oh, well, how long did he have left? It's like, no, dude, he was in the thick of it. Like, how long does J. Cole have left or Kendrick have left? You know what I'm saying? Like, like, because you have to put Logic in there if you're talking about real rap, nigga, and, and, and commercial success. He is up there with the big dogs. He's just, he's like a step below him, but he's swimming up there with them. You know, he ain't no no name motherfucker. So that's crazy for a motherfucker to like retire. I, Cause I don't know. I always looked at like comedy like that, like to me, like the way Dave Chappelle does it, and the way Nate Bargatsky does it, or Gary Owen, in the sense that they do it. I mean, it's not retiring, but they're not in the rat race anymore. Even though you would think, like, oh, Dave Chappelle's in it, it's like he's not in it. No, he lives in his own little world. He lives in his own world, yeah. and the reason he he, ha- he drops the biggest specials, so it looks like from the outer world, like, oh, he's like the focal point. But it's like, no, he's not. In, like the rat race is like every other comedian you see dropping a special. You know what I'm saying? Whereas, like, it's niggas like Nate Bargatsky and Gary Owen and Chappelle who, like, don't do the Hollywood shit. That's my goal with this podcast. The goal with this podcast, to me, is that you, I don't have to fucking be anywhere. Like, I don't have to be anywhere. Yeah, Chappelle lives in Ohio. Bargatsky lives in Tennessee. Who knows? I don't know where Gary Owen lives. Cincinnati. Since, since middle of the country. Yeah, mm-hmm. Cincinnati. I mean... Pick a better city, but sure. Uh, <laughs> you know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah, yeah. But you know, the goal of this, they don't at live. the end of the day, yeah, exactly. They, mm-hmm. The goal of this at the end of the day is, because it's beyond just that. It's like, nigga, the goal of this podcast is, nigga, I don't want to have to be in the position a lot of comedians are going to have to be in in like five years. Because this shit's finna, this shit was already extremely impossible. And it's only going to get worse because of this COVID shit. So Ooh, Yeah, this is going to be tough. So the only thing I want to do with this podcast, besides have a lot of fun, it's the the, the easiest to do because it's like a lot of fun. But I want to set myself up using you, fucking great listeners, to not have to motherfucking. I don't want to have to ask for shit, bro. I don't want to have to ask nobody to tour with them. Don't get me wrong, I love touring with people. Without that, I wouldn't be where I am. But I want to get to the point where I don't have to ask to fucking go on the road with nobody, and I don't have to ask to fucking uh, like get auditions and shit. You know what I'm saying, like. You want me in your show or your movie or whatever it is because we have this. We have a platform. We have, you know what I'm saying? Like, you guys. Like, that's, to me, the epitome of, like, success, man. By well, far. It's your, you get to deci- when you get to decide the rules. Oh, nothing better. What's better? That's why I respect Logic because it's not like he, like he owns his music. He owns, like, you know what I mean? Like, it's... Mm-hmm. Like, he, it's a partnership with Def Jam. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, he gets to make these decisions, and I respect that shit. I respect that shit, bro. He's not looking at, like, he also has enough money where he doesn't have to worry about this shit. You know, like, that's the whole point. Bro, bro the moment this podcast starts paying my bills, A, I'm going to let y'all know, Beaners, just know that shit, because we celebrating together. The moment this podcast pays my bills, I'm the most famous comedian in the world. I already think I'm the most famous comedian in the world. How you going, nigga, this, this? What we're doing right now, bullshitting in this room, pays my bills, nigga. I'm Elvis. How you gonna tell me I'm not? Like, can anyone tell you shit that's on this page of bills? No, I mean, no. If this pays my bills, then Your I have bills. a successful podcast. Your bill, cell phone bill, po- yeah. rent, Then I have a successful car. podcast. You know, that's, uh, that's, that's, then you have, you do have everything you need. You don't have to, uh, uh, when I don't have to, like, think about, like, oh, man, I'm gonna have to get a job one day, that would be fucking perfect yeah that'd be fucking perfect do you think that no not right now but what's it called um this as of this moment this isn't paying my bills you know what i mean Mm -hmm. so it's like it's not like i'm like oh am i gonna have to get a job one day but it is like okay it is in the realm of possibility i think still that that oh okay if like you know that like okay if i if i need to make rent i'm gonna have to pick something up you know i'm far from that not to say yeah. that, like, oh, like, I'm on that and I'm 
grappling with it right now, but it's not impossible. But the second this pays my bills, that's impossible. Yeah. Well, to me, it's impossible because mm-hmm. if I, I made that decision after before Madhouse days that I wasn't going to do anything. Other than comedy. Yep. You know. So you you think you could get another job? Um, I don't know. It would be tough. It would be tough. I try. I tried. I was. I was trying to do another job during the pandemic, and I, and I hated it. Um, so you know. Um, could you go back to not pure freedom? That is doing any job that is not comedy. Because even working at the mm-hmm. comedy store, it's freedom. No, I think I could. If if I needed a job, like really badly, if I actually needed a job, I think I could find one in some kind of comedy related thing. I don't think I'd have to go back to working at. But that's what I mean. If you got a job at a comedy related thing, you know me. I don't consider that a job. I consider that you're going for your dreams. Yeah, I think I could. I think I could maneuver and find a job inside. You know, I'm pretty sure if I asked around all things comedy, if I really needed a job, Mm -hmm. I'd be able to find something. But that's not. That's but you know me. Yeah, that's 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 not uh, getting a job. I I know it's getting a job, but that's like if you got a job at the comedy store. It's mm -hmm. like well, that's yeah, you got a job, but did you? You Would I need to work at the UPS store again? Probably not. That's what I'm saying. Would that's, you ever? Would you ever? Is there anything? Is there anything that would make you yet yeah, get a job where there are like rules and boundaries and like oh, this? Man. Is, and, it, and it's not furthering your career. That's tough. That's tough to have a job with rules and boundaries. I don't. That's done. I don't think I've ever had a job with rules and boundaries. Even the, other the, than the UPS. Even at the UPS store, we had never had a manager there. I just get high all the time on the yeah. shift. So well, it's you like, know what I meant. I meant more like uh, I guess because no rules and boundaries, but also the uh, you, you you know you had to be like UPS. You had to be that you. The things you can get away with at the comedy store by getting someone to cover your shift while you go do the road, right? Things like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think I, I don't think I could do that. Like the, you know, like all the jobs that everyone's gonna have to get at Amazon after this. I don't think. Oh I yeah. Do that. How you know how every single person's gonna be working at Amazon, Amazon in three years? Everyone's yeah. gonna be working at Amazon and fucking like Target. Yeah, yeah. I don't think I can do that. But yeah, I don't know if I can go back, man. Mm-hmm. I, I, I mean, I don't know. I mean, I know I can't go back. I know I can't go back. I know I can't go back. Also, it's hard because it's like, man, everyone else. It feels weird right now because we're not doing stand up, but nigga, everyone else is it's like mo- like a lot of people are still doing it, and it's like that's messing with my mind a little bit. You know what I'm saying? People are still doing it. Yeah, I, but, and that messes with my brain a little bit because it's like, damn, the majority is not doing it, mm-hmm. but I can't say everyone's not doing it. And I would say the people who are doing it, I mean, there's like the select few, like the Gary Owens that are touring. People who are touring. Very. That's. I would say that's very little. There's a couple comics touring. Not yeah. a lot, but there are, there are comics touring. And then most people doing it are getting either like a weekend here or there if you're on that level, or you're getting an outdoor show show here and there. I mm-hmm. would say the average comic right now, if I were to average out all the comedians who were doing comedy full time before this, yes, I would say the average comic gets up once a month. Yes, I would agree. Once a month. But it sucks because you know that there are those people who are getting up way more than once a month, and it's like fuck. I want that. I'd like that. You know, I would like that. Because this is my thing. I don't think it's going to change. What do you mean? I don't think it's going to get better. I mean. I think these are your options now. You you say that like there's some finality to it. I don't, I don't think. I think the, the, the way that we're living comedy now isn't going to be the way we're living comedy even at the, even at the beginning of next year. I no, think, I don't think so at all. I think it'll be di- – but it's not going to go backwards. No, no. We're not going to go back to like, oh, the comedy store is bustling and yada, yada, yada. That's not what, and yeah. there's a million comedy clubs. Yeah. No, absolutely no. not. Well, the, I think the ability to get up will be back and the small independent shows will be back soon. Like I think, I think this is what you're, what you're feeling now is only temporary – and it's like, uh, you know, it's like, oh, well, this is for, okay, so when, for the end. When of, do you think? So by the next year, by next spring, by next fall? Sometime between spring and fall of next year, I think if you live in a city with a comedy scene, you'll be able to get up pretty much every day again. But if, if everyone's not getting up till sometime sprawl, fall or next spring, there is no comedy scene. Uh, I think it'll pop back up. There's I don't no think way. the comedy store survives if they can't get open that long. Right. But not, I'm not saying comedy, but it's like the idea of like shows. I mean, people are still putting on shows now. So the idea that the shows and mics and stuff will just disappear completely. I didn't say it would disappear completely. I said yeah. it would be, this is the world we're living in. We're not going to, like, how many people are able to get up now? You said, oh, you're able to get up once a month. Once a month. That's that. Yeah, but I think once the once the the raging part of the pandemic is done, I don't think it'll be just that. 
That's what I'm saying. I think like but, but, all but these independent shows is, will come back and all that. You're saying you, even yourself is going to take a year for that. And then if we're talking about any sense of like, oh, people are getting up a lot, mm-hmm. we're talking about maybe two, three years. I think a year and a half, you'll see people start getting up back a lot. That's a. But you're saying that like it's not an insane amount of time. Most of these places, these businesses, bars, clubs, anything won't be able to stay open. Yeah, I mean, I'm not saying I'm not saying like, oh, they'll be back in clubs, but I'm saying it'll be back in whatever form that it'll be back in. Which is what I'm saying that is that form will be you getting up once a month. I don't know. I don't think so. I think that I, I at the best maybe three to four times a month. Uh, I think. Uh, I think that you getting uh, us getting up once a month is just gonna last until how long? Uh, when when do you think? So in this world that you you're saying it might be better next year or mm-hmm. next year, how many times do you think somebody will get up in a week? I think an average up, comic. I think an average comic in a year and a by, half from now, by fall of next year, will be able to get up twice a week. Yeah, bro, that's a great. I mean, in, in that world, it's gonna be who can figure it out. Like that's the same as this. like I mean, it's a little bit better than this situation. I mean, it's but not a lot. It's multi times. Well, if once a month versus eight times a month is way better. It is way better. It is way better, but man, I'm telling you, that new that world is vicious. I mean, but there's no way the world that we're coming out of this is gonna be not vicious. There's no. It's, that's what I'm saying. I think yeah. it's gonna stay like this, and because that's also you saying it is getting better. I don't think it does. I think it stays like it is, gets a little worse, and it's who can manage to get through that. That's what I think, you know. But because I just don't see how. Any of these businesses are able to stay open. They won't let none of these businesses can make money. I don't know. Uh, art didn't die during the Great Depression, so uh, you know it, it. It stands to reason that well, even if we come out of uh, uh, what's it called, some kind of whatever depression we're going to go through after this, it, it stands to reason that art's going to flourish again. Art will. Yeah. So I'm, not like, it, I'm just saying uh, the idea of being a comedian might be way harder, and I mean way harder. Than what people, I, I think it's going to be like what it is now. Like, all right, who can flip this world we're in now into success? Like, I think it is going to be that. Like, I don't think it's going to be this world where, like, oh, here's avenues for success. Like, oh, no, now it's going to be, again, like, who can make success happen for themselves? I think it's going to be less of, I think it's going to be less opportunity. Unless what you make yourself. Well, there's less opportunity for everybody in the world now. Exactly. So yeah. that's what I think. I think. I, I guess why I, I, I'm like a little, I guess, pessimist. I'm being a pessimist. You're being way more positive. You're a little pessimist. Yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah, But I'm th- just more, I'm, but it's not like a, like, oh, like there's no chance. I just, I'm, I'm thinking like, oh, this is going to be, it, you already had no chance in, to make it as a comedian. And you did. And then somebody took as far as you made it in the game board you were on and fucking threw that bitch. Right, right, right. Yeah, the, the yeah, and the, you still got to try and win that game with the board mm-hmm. pieces off screen. Like, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, that's what it feels like. But I'm not saying you still can't win. I'm just saying, like, bro, that is the game. I, I guess I'm being, I'm trying not to be pessimistic. I'm trying to be more of a realist, but it might come out pessimistic. But I think that's the situation we're in. Yeah, I don't know. I'm the, I'm a little more optimistic than that. But you know, at the same time, as uh, if uh, the the super pessimistic side is uh. If uh, we have a dictator at the end of this, then art might actually die. Yeah. If we have a guy who control, if we have a guy up there who's like, I control the art that goes out, then well, then everything's everything's done. Problem with that. It, only, the only problem with the Trump being a dictator, I think, mm-hmm. his pro- his problem, I mean, like a problem he's gonna run into. Mm-hmm. It's just too many people. It's just too many people. Three hundred thirty million people is too many people. Well, that doesn't make him. That doesn't mean he's not gonna try. That's for sure. No, I'm not saying. No, I'm saying the problem with getting that to go, like how other dictators have got it to go, mm-hmm. is 330 million people. Yeah, that's. And uh, everybody, everyone is all about. I mean, you've seen America, right? We won't let you wear a mask. Like, I mean, people will like people will kill you if you make them wear a mask. Try to stop somebody from posting something they want to on Facebook. Oh yeah. Oh, if uh, if they delete, I think we talked about it here. If they delete TikTok, we're talking about it. Up- uprising, uprising, man. uprising. People, uprising. People are upset. People are like that, that's why I'm yeah. like for Trump. His, his problem is we've been free too long, and now there's too many of us. Right. We all have this mentality of I get to do what I want. This is America. Blah blah blah. Mm-hmm. And so to now come, so it, it's hard to come in now and be like, mm-hmm. do what the fuck I say. 
Uh, you know. It's tough. I mean, but he is going to try. I, th- I think I read. I have to look it up again to make sure. But so I'm not just saying it. But I'm just. Do you say really it. think he's going to try? Or, are you, do you, or oh. like, are you listening to the people think saying he's going to? No, try? I absolutely think he's going to try. Okay. This is this is uh, what's it called? This is the you know history repeats itself. This is straight out of what all the other dictators have done before. Yeah. This is straight out of that playbook. So it's like it's 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 not like oh he's doing something different than everyone else in the past has done. You know he's doing the stuff that the people in the past who have gained power have done. Is Biden even does Biden have a chance to beat him anyway? Before we even get there. I mean, I don't Before we even get to dictator, does Biden have a chance to even because before we even get there, he has to lose. What's it called? Biden has to beat him. What? To get to dictator status or he can uh, Biden doesn't have to beat him to become a dictator. He either way. Well, he'll get four more years and then it, we don't know if he's a dictator or not. He won four more years. What are you talking yeah, about? No, I think I think I'm saying yeah, I guess if he loses, he's not going to give up power. And if he wins, he's definitely not going to give up power in four years. He's going to be like, well. But I'm saying if he wins, you can't call him a dictator immediately. You have to wait. Like, the, you ha- they're only a dictator until we say you're not in power and they say, yes, I am. That's fair. Like, I, just to, I, I don't know I mean, yeah, well, I don't I think, as much about politics as you, but I'm, like, I'm pretty sure that's how that goes. Yeah. Well, I think. You don't get to win an election and be a dictator. I think, uh, I think but, well, that's not true. That's that's false. That no, I'm you saying, can you can you can rig an election. That's a whole can, thing. No, hey, rigging an election is rigging an election. But we're not talking about that. We're talking about the democracy of America. No, 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 but that's that's the whole that's the whole thing with dictators is that you can have like Kim Jong Un. They vote on him. He wins a hundred percent of the votes. But we know but what that is. But that's I'm saying, but, bro. But we know what that is. Mm-hmm. Everybody last time voted for. They did vote for Trump. Who like a lot of people voted for that nigga. It right. wasn't like that was some fake thing. Right. My dad voted for that nigga. Right. Like, like we can't act like that wasn't like democracy. That was democracy. I'm not saying that wasn't democracy. Yeah. I mean, Hitler got voted in. Okay, okay, he did. Yeah, he did. So I'm saying, but like, if a motherfucker gets voted in, mm-hmm. like that, you don't become a dictator until it's like, at least in my eyes, until it's like, bro, you you have to get out and you don't leave. Like people want you out and you don't leave. That's in my eyes. That's a dictator. Yeah, I mean, because if people want him out and he leaves. Is he still a dictator? Like, what is then? What does that word mean? No, no. I mean, I'm saying I'm I'm not saying he's a dictator now. I'm saying he is setting the stage for him to become a dictator. A dictator. It's like it's like. Uh, it, it, but if he lo- if, if Biden w- loses, is he a dictator? Like, okay. what constitutes him being a dictator? I'll say this: if if Biden loses, but we lo- but all of a sudden, if Biden loses, but like. The Republicans are able to close polls in states where in, in in areas where Biden would win, so people who would vote for Biden can't vote. Yeah, and if all of a sudden results from certain areas are murky or are but missing, but that's been every election since I've been alive. Take Trump out of it. That that was the Bush thing, the Al Gore thing. Like that was been every election since I've been alive. The whole what you all everything you just said of like this, and then there's this, and then there's this. So what's the difference between Trump and any of those guys? Well, I mean, at the end of the day, the, uh, all of those guys haven't sent fucking military against their own people that's also a huge thing yeah. he's sending military against the american yeah, but people. during those i mean hold up bro let's look at it a little bigger than that yeah during those people's things there wasn't people every single city wasn't rioting and protesting yeah i mean but, yeah of course they didn't send military against their own people they weren't protesting every single city right so it's like but it's like uh the situations are different. Yeah, but if so, you, if you have people protesting, I think Bush would have sent troops. Yeah, but it, okay, and if Bush would have sent troops, people would have been like, oh, okay, is he trying to make a play for a dictatorship? Absolutely, people would have felt that way. But I'm saying, like, you're, it, you're it, acting it, like, like, hey, oh man, he, this, you can't put what happened on Bush with 9/11 on the Bush's dad. It's like, no, nah, bro, this happened to Bush. This happened to Trump, nigga. This we don't know how Obama would have acted. You don't know. Like, you can't live in some world where we don't. We got to live in the world that we know. I know, and the in the world that we know. The way the, the 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 way that the playbook is being set up is like okay, this guy is playing for power. Yeah, but you know, but you said like he just started attacking people, and it's like, well, that's not how that went down. We started protesting, and he reacted. Yeah, but by by sending, I'm not saying the reaction is wrong. I'm saying right. that is the chain of events. Right, but there there are ways that you can react that aren't like that aren't necessarily power grabbing. Yeah. You know, there are way there are ways that you can. Uh, at the end of the day, it's like you don't if if your whole if your whole thing is like, oh, people are graffitiing places, and I'm sending troops to stop graffitiing. Uh huh. You don't like that's not a that's a that's a power. You know what you do if you you just have the police presence there. You don't fucking attack the people, and you just clean off the graffiti. Uh huh. There are you don't have to set take them and take them off in unmarked vans for who knows how long to who knows where 
That's way. That's a different response. That is an author. A, a crazy a, response. An authoritarian level response. That is a r- crazy response. Yeah, it's it, 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 it's not but, like uh, do it's you not think like you would have did that if, it's if, not if like nothing would happen. It's not like this is Trump's only course of action. But I'm saying, do you think he would have did that if nothing? If like, you think he was just gonna like he was just gonna wake up and start doing it? No, I'm not saying. Or you I'm, think he reacted like a dictator? I, th- I think he reacted like a dictator. I think this is what he's wanted, and this gate like it, what's it called? You never wasted. You, uh, there's a. Uh, there's a quote: "You never waste a good tragedy. You always." I think this is what he wanted, and this is what gave him the excuse to do what he wanted to do. Okay. Because so, I mean, the the in- if, I guess my question also: so Biden's president, then what? Does he not make these decisions, or does he make better decisions? No, I'm not saying. Uh, I'm not saying he makes like. I'm not saying oh, like everything is good again. But I'm just saying I don't think he, he doesn't have like Trump when he first ran already had the rhetoric, rhetoric of like if. If if I lose, I'm not going to accept the results. He uh-huh. said that with Hillary. Yeah, but he wasn't president yet, so kind of what are you going to do? Right, but that is authoritarian rhetoric. That yes. is like if I lose, I'm not going. I'm not going. Yes, he already started there. Yeah, Biden has not even said that. You yeah. know what I mean? It's like that's the difference. No, it's, Biden's just what you know he is. Yeah, Biden is just a, a corporate shill that'll just keep the status quo going and yada 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 yada. yada, 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 yada. yada. Right, but. It is. It, 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 that is a stark difference from like. Status, isn't that crazy? But the status quo is what everyone's rebelling against. People are like, the status quo has been what held us all back. Mm-hmm. The status quo has been all the, the bad things that have caused us in this world. It's so weird what people want. Well, I, I, I think people don't want the status quo, but they also, a lot of people don't want like, well, this reaction to the status quo is worse. Well, it's like, well, what do you want? Well, what what the people Perfect? perfection? What, what the people wanted was Bernie. This is to that if we were, if we were to go back, that's what the people wanted. We people clearly didn't that. want Bernie, or else he'd be in it. What's it called? I mean, not this time. In I'm sorry. 2000, in 2016, they wanted Bernie. He then won- why didn't he get in it? Because the, the 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 Democratic National Party stole the election from him. Okay. That is that is clear. That's clear. That is clear. That's like, yes. That's like fact. That's like yes, like that Wiki- is, a Wikipedia that's, fact. That's yes. That's why people didn't vote for Hillary the first time out because they felt like they were cheated. This time, Bernie lost. 2020, Bernie lost. 2020, Bernie absolutely lost. 2016, he did not lose. Okay. 2016, he, w- he won the popular votes. Hillary, Hillary won the nomination on, the, on a day that Bernie won the state. Did they win the same way whoever the Astros cheated against, they actually won? Is it that kind of win? Right. So, so this, is how, this is how the de- – well, I don't give a fuck. Don't, gonna, don't actually okay. describe this to me. Okay. Uh, yes, but yes, they, 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 the, the, the Democratic National Convention cheated, cheated. for Hillary. Okay. Mm-hmm. And that's what happened. All right, I guess. That's one of those things that's like, man, I guess. I guess, dude. You know? They're all bad. But regardless. Trump might be a dictator. Maybe. It's a maybe. I mean, he, the, way, the way he's setting it up. I got to just wait and see because also, bro. Ugh, I see it. We'll see. I we'll see, see it. I mean, yeah, we'll see. Because mm-hmm. also, if he becomes a dictator and then, like, then what? I'd like to see then what? I mean that that you know time will tell, but yeah. you know, a lot of a lot of like 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 the Department of Homeland Security recently asked Netflix to like, hey, don't try not to say anything negative about Trump. It's gonna be like that. You're gonna see all like the all, all that stuff slowly disappear. Mm-hmm. All like the Alec Baldwin's on SNL, those won't exist anymore. Like all that stuff will start going, and it'll all just be pro Trump in the media. You think so? Mm-hmm. That, that if if he does that thing where like he loses and retains power, how do you do that to three hundred thirty million people though? You kill people. You have to kill every. You have to. I mean, you'd have to really kill people. I think so. I mean, look at look at how many people. Look at how many. He people hasn't are killed dead. anybody yet. Look at how many people are dead from this pandemic. That they don't he, give a fuck. You know what I'm saying, fool? He. Mm. What you're saying is not the pandemic. The pandemic and Trump are not the same thing. What you're saying is tr- Donald Trump. Is going to kill people, and I think to and, and no, 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 not like not like he's gonna use the. I'm talking about like, bro, he's gonna actually like, nigga, mm-hmm. you said something bad about Trump, so they came to your house and put a bullet in your head, like to let everybody know he did it, and all that shit. That's what you're saying. Yes, and I think that is in the realm of possibility, for sure. Yeah, it's definitely in the realm of possibility. Mm-hmm. But it's like also like, what do you do to stop it? What do you do? Well, yeah, I mean, there's nothing we can do. I'm just saying that's the world. I'm not saying, oh, we got to go out and stop. I'm just saying that's the world that we're going to be living in. Or it's that possible you, that you that's think, the world. That you, yes. you keep saying it. It's like you don't know, but you think. Yes, it's very possible. Yeah, It's okay to, it's okay to be wrong, too. It's like to yeah. think this. Yeah. Because yeah. you're saying it like, it's like, man, you might, maybe, <laughs> my nigga, maybe. Or maybe, you know, you just keep going. Maybe it just keeps going and it's just another dude. It's going to be another dude after Trump. And then another dude. Well, and then another dude. That's the hope. And then a girl. And then another girl. That's the hope, and then one of the girls becomes the dictator that you didn't that you that you saw coming anyway. Like, 
I don't know. It's all it's all fucking dumb to think about, bro. Like even we're just talking about it because when you normally start talking about it like this, you like you realize you're like, oh, this is fucking stupid. This politics shit is stupid, bro. That's why I I, I don't know how you still watch the news and shit. I had to stop watching, bro. You know, remember I was in. I was locked in the beginning of this coronavirus mm-hmm. shit. I was keeping up with the coronavirus and the news and all that stuff. And then, bro, that, you, that's a slow realization into what that world is. Bullshit. 100%. 100%. Why would they, like, why even, why look at that shit? You can't even learn nothing. It's just bias. You're just getting the side. But w- w- why look at, like, e- even if you're getting the bias... Why? Why even be interested in what's going on around you? Oh yeah, if, that, if you're gonna get a biased thing from it, when you can like just talk to people and get like people's opinion, like you can like talk to regular people. But because the bias shit's crazy, bro. I'd rather have a discussion with you about everything, like we're doing now, than right. actually read some shit, like from the CNN shit, like but or the Fox shit. Because you, you, you act like I'm you reading read it CNN. And it's crazy. I'm, I'm this is going or all the, off. Or any of this, any of that. Just going just all off Twitter. Stuff, Twitter, bro. That shit's like even like those trendings, like to get on the the news ones. I get on the trending now, like Twitter. I use Twitter now for pop culture. Pop culture, just to be like, oh, bro, because it's funny. And what does it mean? It's like sports. It's like sports. It's like, who gives a fuck? News. Whereas real news, bro, that shit's like, what the fuck is this, bro? Every day something horrible going on, and you know, and it's like, what you going to do? I don't know. I, li- I disagree, but I think it's like, oh, you know, it's, it's good to stay informed of what's going on everywhere. And it's just horrible, 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 horrible. It's not all horrible. It's all horrible. It's not all horrible. It's all horrible. It's definitely not all, it's horrible. all horrible. It's definitely not it's all horrible. A, it's all horrible. It's all horrible if you choose to look at all the horrible things, but there are good things and there are horrible things. Bro, you gotta look news, at all of them. The news is I'm gonna say, if we were gonna if we if me and you sat down and watched any news channel. Well, yeah, if you're talking about any yeah, news, news channel. A news channel. Any news article, any news, anything, any news any place that gives mm-hmm. you news, I would say 90% of it's bad. Right. If, uh, I'm, I'm That's what about, I just said. Yeah, but I'm talking about news channels. I'm talking about Twitter, bro. Just Even Twitter. I would say, I, hold up, 90% of Twitter is bad. It's negative. It's not good. I don't give a fuck what. Bro, because we'll start scrolling right now and prove the Like, what? You, you're you going to tell me it's not negative, that it's positive. That is bullshit. Fair. Fair. But either way, I still Now, you're saying, like, can I look and find the positive in Twitter? Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Right. You can find the 10% of good in anything. But I'm talking about when it's one entity and it's giving you 90% negative. Why the fuck would I let that consume my brain? And that's it. All y'all. Why would you let that consume your brain? I don't know. I think, I think it's I'm just asking you. Why would you let that consume your brain knowing it's negative? It's, I mean, what? It's like, informative. So do you feel more informed even though you're like, I'm, do you, would you rather be informed or, it's like de- or depressed? I guess is my question. If, like, if a person is constantly getting negative stuff, but they're going, oh, it's just informing me. What? I don't know. I would. I. I would rather be informed and and be sad and like or have constant sadness than not be informed and be happy. That's a good question. Just answer that question. Would yeah, you rather, rather be constantly rather be, informed and, de- and be depressed? Be, I would rather be informed because you, be you might be happy. Hold up! Hold up! Hold up! But, hold up! Hold up! Finish okay. the question. You'd be constantly informed and be depressed, mm-hmm. than not know what's going on and be happy. Man, knowledge is power. Man, I'd rather be informed. The power is depression. That's an interesting power. It's, it's not just a po- power is power. Bro, no, you might be you, depressed, you, but you, bro, you, you but still, that's, that's a weird not life. I, we will ask the beaters, too, because that's a good question, I think. I think this is a good question. Because obviously, you know where I stand. I, I'd much rather be uninformed and be happy. Oh, my God, bro. What? That's, it's, not even a, it's, like, that's a, it's not even close. But I'd love to know the beaners. Would you rather be depressed and know everything or not know anything and be really happy? Get back to us on that. Beaners, this is your intermission right now. Before we get into the episode you are here for, uh, really quick, thank you for listening. Yes, we love you. We do. Uh, please subscribe to us on YouTube. Uh, rate and review this podcast on iTunes. Please rate and review. That stuff matters. We could use the help and we would appreciate it. Yeah, tell your friends about the podcast. We know you love it. Tell your friends about the podcast. We know you love it. You keep going back and listening to old episodes. That's yeah. how we know you love it. We appreciate that. And uh, yeah, follow us on Instagram at Spoil the Beans, and then you can find our individual Instagrams. We're linked on everything. Follow Eric us. Eric Poston, Sanamad. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, and uh, shout out to Greg Scamato for making our theme music. Uh, if you want uh, some more samples from him or maybe help from him, check out gregcanhelp.com. Yep. Yeah. And now back to your future presentation.
Well, we're back now. This is where I'm starting it. Well, you burped. Hassan yeah. burped everybody, and it was dis- he did it again. I did burp, and he has no manners. I did burp. I got a lot of gas right now. Um, you may notice <laughs> if you're watching, we're sitting in different seats. What do you mean? First off, you may have noticed that. I mean, I was on my phone because I was on Instagram. Right, which was rude. No, uh, that was very because rude I was looking at one of the <gasps> best profiles. I've- I was being rude. I think you're being rude right I now. God, I forgot you're looking at the best profile of all time. You know what I'm looking at. Why would I? Yeah. You know I wouldn't do disrespect your the podcast. I was just looking at one of the best Instagram profiles you could look at on this it, it, on your phone. Yeah, you can. You, it, was it Darren Bates's Instagram? Dude, there's only one. D a r e n b a t s. Darren Bates, everybody. Darren Bates, this dude. Yeah, he's the be- uh, he's the best Instagram follow you could ever follow. Best Instagram follow you can ever follow, Mr. D A R E N B A T E S. Westland underscore Sun 56. That's right. Uh, also, the Lean on Me episode for Spoil the Beans. If you want to go hear him on the podcast, uh, the Lean on Me episode is the one Mr. Darren Bates is. is uh, blah, 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 he's black. Yep. Uh, follow him. Uh, tell him the beans sent you. <laughs> <laughs> you almost forgot to pay the bills. Yeah, that was cool. <laughs> I was like, why are you bringing this? Oh, yeah. <laughs> you mean the one thing that makes this money? Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of important. Yeah. Oh, man. Um, But what? we are in different seats, guys. Yeah. And you know what that means. Wait. We're di- wait a minute. We're in different seats. We're in different seats. My hat's on backwards. Yep. What the fuck is going on? It's a motherfucking reverse episode, bitches. Reverse, reverse. Reverse, reverse. Reverse reverse, 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 Uno, reverse car. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, reverse uh, flash. Yeah. That's a reverse thing. Uh, what's what's another reverse? Reverse, reverse. Hey, does you think reverse flash? What do you think he does, Hassan? What do you think reverse flash's power is? Does he run flash? really? Does he run really fast backwards? Nope. Does he run really slow? Nope. Well, what else? What is? What could his possible other possible? What's the other possibilities? This nigga also is fast. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Yo, The Flash, the show on the CW, mm-hmm. is fucking amazing. <laughs> you thought I was going to say something bad. I wasn't. Uh, so he's just Flash. He's just Flash but bad? Is that what he is? He's literally just Flash but bad. Okay. Uh, Why would they call him reverse Flash? Just lazy writing there, huh? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, we're doing a reverse episode, guys. I can't. Wait a minute. You, I wasn't even prepared. Yep. And Derek? What? That's my name. Can you do me a favor this You're time? You're not a, Derek? Can you do me a favor, Derek? No! Can you do me a favor, Derek? Okay, yes. Right. You've done me like 140. And we'll talk about your homosexuality. Wait a minute. No, we're not. That's not what happens on this podcast. Derek, uh, you gay, gay man. God damn it, dude. I'm not going to do this for an hour and a half. Can you tell me... Maybe. ...what happens in the movie? I've seen all the movies, dude. That you haven't seen. I've seen everything. Which is crazy. I've seen everything. You're not going to say something I haven't seen. Can you tell me what happens? In what? In the movie Bambi? Uh, when I said I seen everything, I meant like, you know, everything not involving deers. <laughs> You've seen The Deer Hunter, though, haven't you? Well, when you see that, you see that <laughs> that movie does not involve That's deers. Fair. I haven't seen it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to spoil it for you, yeah. but holy shit. <laughs> Metaphor, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> I haven't seen Bambi, y'all. I know. Hey, hey, uh, hey. I know. I don't know how. Yeah. I honestly, I don't know how. Yeah, that's uh I don't know how. I don't know how I have not fucking seen this movie. I'm glad you got to watch it for free. We have Disney Plus. Yeah. Woo! But uh damn nigga, I don't know how I've never seen this. I mean, you you know vaguely what happens, right? Well, I assume. everyone knows the start. Okay. That's the most famous thing, and that's how like every Disney movie started after that. Okay. How does it start? The mom gets shot in the fucking face. Okay, and then where do we go from there? Now, nigga. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I haven't seen it. I yeah. got it. Okay. Okay. So we start I with really the mom getting it. shot. Right, so the mom, I know this. Mm-hmm. I know this much. I know the movie starts with the mom getting her. Wig split, you know what I'm saying? Straight right. up motherfucking, you know, Martin Luther King style. Mm-hmm. And then. <laughs> and then. And then okay, okay, hold on. Let me. Let so, me where does that. Jesse Jackson fit into this movie? 
<laughs> he did it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, I don't know. Who knows, right? Uh, Jesse knows. Uh, Bambi. That's what we're talking about. Mm-hmm. Movie starts. The mom gets her fucking head explodes with a bullet. Yes. Bambi then. Mm-hmm. Nigga, this nigga meets some friends. I know he meets a, like a rabbit, I think. And these friends, I'm assuming, help him cope <laughs> with the death of his mother. Okay, okay, okay. So this and is like while, a therapy movie. Yeah, and okay. while coping, yeah, they're very much like Goodwill Hunting. Okay. And while coping with his mother, he's angry, he's sad, he finds love, he ruins it. This is a deep Bambi. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he finds love and he ruins it. Uh, damn, I think I'm describing Fox and the Hound. Yeah, also, you know, this is also a kid's movie, right? Shit. Is, I don't know. The, mo- the mom but starts I, with her yeah, head getting yeah, blown but up. Like, you know, it's not like, he, oh, man, what is love? and what is? <laughs> <laughs> Why do I keep ruining it? And who am I deep down? You know what I mean? <laughs> so maybe relax a little bit. <laughs> this is my baby, isn't it? This is fair. You're right. You're right. You're right. This is your baby. Thank you. Yeah, okay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, baby doesn't know how to exist without his mom. <laughs> yeah. And he's learning just like what life really means, mm-hmm. and he and he does through friendship, of course. Which, so okay, which is very powerful. So what's the conflict? And the con with well, the con- <laughs> the conflict. Okay, happens. he's dealing with his mom's death. Okay, how? No, is no, 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 no. The conflict is uh, the same guy who killed his mom at one point is hunting him. He's a little okay. older. He's okay. wiser, mm-hmm. and he tricks the guy who oh. killed his mother. Into killing himself. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. And Bambi goes on after dealing with that. And, and, you know, and like he can now live his life. Like that guy's dead. And now he knows like, all right, I don't have to think about my mom's death anymore because it's final. Okay. And that's Bambi. Okay. So you think Bambi is a cat and mouse type thriller movie? <laughs> 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 all right you saw all these pictures of this cute little deer and you're like cat and mouse thriller i love it <laughs> well, i don't know i thought that's what it was. it's, it's kind of hard to describe it when you only know about the mom death that's fair do you do you know when this movie was made 50s 1942 damn i was a decade off yeah this is uh this this in 1942 box office take for bambi 247 million that is equivalent to now two hundred and forty two trillion dollars. Uh, actually, I looked it up, four point five billion dollars adjusted for close. inflation. So this movie This is uh did well. This movie did better than Infinity War. Yep. This movie was and um I watched this, this is one of the type of movies I watched all the time as a kid. You know, that's just what my mom had on. This? Yeah. And now this is the first time I've seen it as an adult. Really? Yeah, as an adult adult, and it gave me a real big appreciation. For what it was, and this is an incredible movie. And who maybe, directed this? Uh, I don't know who the, the director was, okay. but I mean, this is a Walt Disney movie. You know, this is a homeboy. Yeah, yeah. This is a uh, Walt's a lot, a lot of influence. This is all Walt's. This is all Walt. Yeah, you can tell Walt. While I was watching this movie, I couldn't help but think, "Oh, Walt Disney is Steve Jobs. This dude is a fucking genius." Yeah, he was Steve Jobs, hundred percent. This dude is a genius, and it comes through in these movies. Yeah, they said he used to like to uh, like spread his legs on tables, <laughs> like get women to spread their legs on tables on clear glass and get them shit. I think you're thinking of the owner of the Washington Redskins. I think that's a different person. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's true about Walt Disney. That's like an actual thing that that's like an actual thing that I read. <laughs> <laughs> But I read it, yeah, he likes to have women spread their legs on clear glass so you can watch some shit. Okay, I don't think that's true. Hey, uh, you don't know what, hey, bro, you write some shit like this, nigga, you might not like to see some shit. Oh, uh, he was definitely into some shit, that's for sure. You, <laughs> yeah. This is a great artist, so you saw the Jobs movie, you saw how fucked up Jobs was, oh, he must, was he was fucked. that level, he, he, there was something, there was, hey, there was clearly something going on some in there. Kanye that was, West shit going on? Yeah, you, know, that, you know Kanye West is losing his mind? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. He's an artist. There was that, yeah, Walt Disney is a motherfucking artist, bro. Um, Tell me Bambi. I've never seen it, and I'm excited to finally watch it. Okay. So Bambi, so Walt Disney Pictures presents Bambi. You see, it looks every bit of 1942. You you feel the age. drawing animation, which I like. You feel the age, and I will say this right before I begin. You you see the animation, and you were like, bro, if this was 1942, this would blow your fucking mind. It's like that. That's tight. All right. You know, you see the credits. Love is a song that never ends. <laughs> Life may be sweet and fleeting. And that's just the song that plays over the credits, you know? How long is this movie? Only an hour ten. 
The best ones are even shorter than an hour and a half. The I, best ones are even shorter than that. I assumed it would be an hour and a half because it's a movie. Yeah. yeah. I think, I, and I didn't look this up, but I think if you were to look over like Pinocchio, Dumbo, S- S- Snow White, uh-huh. the original five, yeah, I, I would bet you they're all like this. They're hour all probably ten. hour, hour ten. Probably. Yeah. Um, You know, so the, you see the credits and then we open on a forest. So anytime you see the forest, it's just orchestral music playing in the background every single time. Okay. It's sort of like a throwback to the silent movies where there's music playing over the scenes. It's like that. So you open on a forest, and like I said, this I wrote down, bro, this shit is mind-blowing, especially for 42, right? We go through the forest, you hear the choir singing in the background, love is a song that never ends, right? Uh, and we follow an owl. We follow him through the forest, and then he sits down on a tree, he yawns, and he starts sleeping. Okay. And you pan up, and you see a squirrel. Who's he, The squirrel's getting up, and he's got like a little baby squirrel hiding under her tail. Oh, little baby squirrels. Yeah. And the owl's flying. The owl's falling asleep, and you see a bird feed its chick. So a lot of this, a lot of this movie is you just see the forest. You see the forest. You see a mouse is waking up, and he uses a dewdrop. A lot of the, scenery. A lot of beautiful yes. scenery. Yes. I like that. He uses a dewdrop from a flower, and he washes his face to wake up. Right. And then we see a rabbit, and the rabbit is like a young rabbit boy Thumper. rabbit. Yes. You see I Thumper. Know the name. You see Thumper, and he's like, you know, he's scratching his back on a branch. He gets out of his hole, and then a blue jay starts singing, like to the animals, like chirping. Okay. Right, and all the animals like look at the blue jay, and they're like, "Oh!" And they all start following the blue jay. They okay. all, they all follow the forest, and then Thumper goes to the owl and goes, "Wake up, wake up, Grandpa Owl!" And the owl's like, "What's happening? The new prince is born." So all the animals from the forest start running around, right? And they all some Lion King shit. They all converge on this little thicket, and inside the thicket, it's like a it's like a little it's like this area that's covered in like bushes and leaves, right? And they all sort of. And trees and stuff. So they all go into the thicket and all the animals form like the circle around this doe and a small little baby deer. Wait, a doe is? A female deer. Okay. Doe, a deer, a female deer. That's from a different movie. Oh, wait, you haven't seen that movie. What movie is that? All right. Uh, <laughs> I say it like, of course you've seen that movie. It's like, oh, you haven't seen that movie. Yeah, I don't like deer stuff. You know that. Yeah. <laughs> Told you, deer hunter. Wait till you see that yeah. one. <laughs> well, I was like, damn, if you'd seen that movie. Th- 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 yeah, okay, anyways. Um, and the owl goes, well, this is quite an occasion. It's not every day a prince is born. This is Jesus or is this the Simba? <laughs> so Bambi wakes up and everyone says hi to him. Hi, hi, right? And he's trying to get up. But he can't, he's just a baby, right? So he's trying to get up. Oh, yeah, just, he can't get up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah I've he, seen that where he's like, or, or, you know, like little weird, weird shots. Like of wobbly. And then Th- Thumper is like running around him as he's trying to get up. And he goes, he goes, he looks, uh, he, 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 look, he's trying to get up, right? He's running around him. He goes, he's kind of wobbly. And Thumper's mom goes, Thumper. Thumper like, well, he is, isn't he? Thumper. Aren't you? Right? And Bambi tries to say something. She goes, ah, and then falls back down. He's trying to talk to Thumper, but he falls back down. And then he gets tired and he falls back asleep and the owl's like, oh, the young prince needs to rest. We all should go. Right? And then, you know, they all leave and Thumper is just still inspecting him. Right? And then the mom goes, Thumper, come on. So as Thumper leaves. And as he leaves, he turns around and he goes, what are you going to call him? To Bambi's mom. And Bambi goes, I think I'll call him Bambi. That'll do all right. And Thumper. Then we don't even know the mom's name. No. <laughs> Thumper, <laughs> Thumper then, you know, bounces away and the mom goes, Bambi. My little Bambi. And then you pan up from the mom, and you see, like, on top of her, over a cliff, you see a stag, a male deer, right? And he's just looking over everything. Cut to Bambi and his mom are now walking through the forest, right? He's still having... I thought this bitch died in the opening credits. Oh, no. Oh, bro. We're not close to her death yet. Get the fuck out of here, nigga. Yeah. Oh, you oh you thought you thought that's a, oh yeah you were wrong about that. <laughs> so I was like you'll find out, you'll find out. Yeah, but no, she doesn't die. She doesn't die anywhere near the opening. <laughs> that's a lot to take in. Yeah. All right, keep going, man. That's a lot. I didn't know that's a lot to take in. I was expecting this bitch to get her wig split right there. Nope. Cut to Bambi and his mom are now walking through the forest. Okay. He's still struggling. He's still you know, young little deer, but he has this sort of like princely walk about him. You know, his head's held high, all that sort okay. of stuff. Mm. And then he's, you know, as I walk through the forest, all the animals say hi to him. Hi, little prince. Hi, like a group of quail. Say hi, little prince. There's like a possum hanging from the tree. Hi, little prince. And he like studies them because they're all upside down and shit. Um, and then he's walking. He's walking. He trips and he falls. And then Thumper and his family come around him again. And Thumper goes, he doesn't walk very good, does he? And Thumper's mom goes, Thumper, what did your daddy say this morning? Thumper's like, 
If you can't say anything nice, don't say anything at all. And so the the family of Thumper and his siblings like encourage Bambi to get up. Bambi, get up, get up. And you know, and you know, and they start running through the forest. Right? He's running? He's running with the ra- with the kid rabbits. Good job, Bambi. Yeah, they're running, they're running. They they uh they come across a log. They get like a hollow log, and Thumper is Thumper goes, um uh Thumper like sits on the log and goes, I'm thumping and he like he does his thumper thing. Yeah, he hits his leg against the ground really fast. That's his yeah. thumping. That's why they call me Thumper. <laughs> you <laughs> son of a bitch. <laughs> and then they run through the log. And then so the and then so him and his family they come across this giant tree root on the ground. A tree root. And they're trying to teach Bambi how to jump over it. Okay. And Bambi just quite just can't do it. You know, he's still figuring it out. He okay. he jumps, he gets stuck on the log and then he uses his hind legs to crawl over the log, but then he falls over again. <laughs> Yeah, he's a he's a he's a little radio right now. Um, <laughs> no, he's just a, he's just a kid. He's not retarded. Um, Jesus, <laughs> Jesus, <laughs> right? So, so they they keep trying to teach Bambi like stuff, but he keeps falling over, right? And um, Bambi falls at one point, and then there's a group of birds just in a tree nearby, and Bambi's like interested by them, and uh, Thump, uh, Thumper goes, "Those are birds." And Bambi tries to talk. Bambi goes, burr. 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 Thumper goes, come on. Say bird. Burr. Burr. Gucci. Burr. <laughs> and now all the bunnies and birds are excited. They say, they go, say bird, say bird. And Bambi goes, oh, bird. And he blows them all away. Because they're, <clears throat> right? And they and all get excited. He spoke ex- for the first time. He spoke for the first time. And they all get excited. They- also spoke with context. Yeah, yeah, just really like just figuring stuff out pretty quick on the fly. Jesus. Yeah, um, and you know, bird is this bird, and uh, everyone's happy. And you know, Thumper tells Bambi and his mom like, "Hey, he said bird, he said bird," and Bambi's super happy, but he just goes bird, 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 right? And as he's going bird, 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 he sees a butterfly, and he starts chasing the butterfly around, and then the butterfly lands on his tail. So Bambi like Bambi looks at his tail and goes bird. And Thumper goes, no, that's a butterfly. Baby goes, butterfly. Jesus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> so he looks, he turns around and goes, butterfly, but the butterfly has flown away. It's not on his tail anymore. So he goes and he tries to look for it. He sees a flower on the ground that looks like the butterfly. And Baby goes, butterfly. And Thumper goes, no, that's a flower. Flower? Yep, it's pretty. Pretty? So Bambi starts sniffing the flower, and as he's sniffing the flower, there's a skunk in the flower, and he comes face to face with the skunk, and the skunk gets out and like looks at Bambi, and Bambi looks at the skunk, and Bambi goes, flower! And the skunk goes, who, me? <clears throat> and Thumper starts rolling around laughing, like, ha ha, uh, that's not a flower, he's a, uh... and the skunk goes, that's all right, he can call me a flower if he wants to, I don't mind. Who's this little pedophile skunk? I mean, it's a kid, it's another kid. Uh, and, ba- like, boy, sorry, <laughs> and Bambi goes, pretty, pretty flower. And the skunk goes, oh, me? Gosh. And he's like, he like, likes being called a pretty flower. Is this a man or a woman skunk? This is a b- little boy skunk. Okay. Yeah. But at first, I thought it was a girl, too. Until I rewatched it. Oh, yeah, he goes, he. When does this mom get her fucking head blown off? So Thumper and Bambi are walking... <laughs> Thumper and Bambi are walking through the forest when lightning strikes. And Thumper's like, oh, I, I got to go home. Mm-hmm. And so Bambi goes back to the thicket where his mom is. And he's falling asleep. And then the rain starts falling down slowly. And every time the rain hits, a musical note hits, right? <clears throat> and then it starts raining really hard. Drip, drip, drop, little April shower. Beating a tune as you fall to the ground. Drip, drip, drop, little April shower. What can p- compare to your beautiful sound? Beautiful sound. Beautiful sound. And as it's going, you just see the whole forest now. That what was they, nice. Yeah. It's a nice song. What they do when it's raining. Drip, drip, drop, little April showers. And as they do that, you know, you see a mouse hiding under a mushroom and then, you know, going into a hole. And then you see, like, ducks in the rain. And you see all the little animals in the rain while the song is going on. Mm-hmm. Right? And... Um. Oh yeah, there's a, I forgot. <laughs> there's a fucking leaf blower outside. And I mean, he's literally climbed up the wall and just and bl- is right outside our window. And just blowing it straight in, baby. <laughs> um, <clears throat> so Bambi starts to fall asleep, and then light the lightning hits, and now and then it scares him. And Bambi tries to hide under his mom, 
and now you see the lightning around the whole forest, and it looks violent. Like, they, they make the forest look from, like, oh, this is, like, nice and rainy to, like, a violent place to be. And all the animals are hiding, and all the animals are freaked out, right? And then the storm passes, and then it's daytime again, and the, and the, and the um, animal, the birds are singing, and Bambi's finally falling asleep. Drip, drip, drop, little April shower, beating a tune as you fall all around. Drip, drip, drop, little April shower, what can compare to your beautiful sound? Is this just background music, <laughs> or are the animals singing this? Background music. Background music. <clears throat> Beautiful sound, beautiful sound. Cut to. Bambi is now walking through the forest with his mom. He's a little bit older. Oh, times went by. Time. Get the fuck out of here. So this nigga's got to know his mom. Oh, yeah. Jesus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jesus, Walt. <laughs> yeah. So, mother, fuck. mother, what are we going to do today? And his mom's like, get our head blown off. We're going to a meadow. We're going to the meadow. And Bambi goes, what's the meadow? It's a wonderful place. How come we've never gone there before? You weren't big enough. You know what, Mommy? Thumper told me we're not the only deer in the forest. Well, he's right now. There are many deer in the forest. How come I've never seen them? You will sometime. In the meadow? Perhaps. Hush now. We're almost there. They walk to the edge of the forest, and they see the meadow. And be- Damn, hold up, bro. I think this is my guess right now. Okay. She thinks she, didn't, she hasn't brought this nigga to the meadow before. You're too young. It's like, bro, this is where we get our heads blown off at. So this is where people kill us, bro. Because this is where we get to drink our water. This is where we fucking pray. Like not just uh, humans either. Other mother and fucking animals, bro. Oh, that's fire! All right, keep all right. Going. So Bambi sees the meadow and goes the meadow, and he runs towards it. And then Bambi, his mom's like, Bambi, wait! And she cuts him off. You must never rush into the meadow. There's danger there. There's no bushes or trees to hide us. I'll go in first, and if I think it's safe, then I'll call you out. Woo! Yo, this movie just got <laughs> real, nigga. <laughs> Woo! My adrenaline's up now. Holy shit, I'm nervous. So Bambi's mom carefully ventures out. She's looking around, right? Looking around to see if the meadow's safe. As she's looking around, she sees a flock of birds calmly settle down next to... I don't... It's a band. Oh, it is a band. Well, you know, way to ruin the flow. Uh... (laughs) 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 She sees... (laughs) Was it worth it? I wouldn't say so. It wasn't. I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm sorry. (laughs) So... (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> the bird the birds settle down and they're nice and calm and start chirping and then Bambi's mom goes okay cool it's time to come out so she calls Bambi out and then you know they just start you know running through the meadow and having a good time together and Bambi's exploring oh jeez yeah Bambi's exploring so and you see all you know all the other animals are in the meadow too hanging out what other animals are like we talking like about? you still so you see like a duck who's trying to get into the water because it's too cold and then Bambi runs by him and splashes him with the water and okay. the duck's like mad <laughs> it's very, it's, asshole it's very cute um, oh yeah yeah <laughs> yeah it's a baby duck you know uh, and then uh, what, uh, what's it called so Bambi's running around he meets Thumper and his family they're also in the meadow the thumps yeah the thumps. They're eating clo- They're eating these flowers and clovers, right? And Bam- ba- uh, you know, Thumper goes, "Bambi, eat some clovers." So, and then Bambi grabs just a mouthful of like the green clover and the flowers. Mm-hmm. And Thumper goes, "Oh man, don't eat the green parts. Eat the flowers. They're the best part." And Thumper's about to just eat the flower, and Thumper's mom's like, "Thumper, what did your father tell you about what? About eating the blossoms and leaving the greens?" <sighs> <clears throat> Eating the greens is a special treat. It makes your ears long and great big feet. He turns to Bambi. But it sure is awful to eat. I made that last part up. Right? <laughs> Thumper. Thumper is uh, what, I, what I like to call my kind of nigga. Yeah, oh, Thumper is dope. Thumper is, Thumper is, Thumper is a dope friend. Um, and so Bambi is about to go eat like a bunch of clovers, and as he's about to, a frog jumps out of the clover, and when he ribbits, he goes, oh, like, watch out! Watch out! Instead of ribbiting, watch out! It sounds more like a ribbit. I can't do it. I can't get my voice like that, but... Now I'm nervous again. Yeah. Um, and so he follows the he follows the frog who jumps into a pond, and so Bambi is, like, looking for the pro- frog in the pond, and then as he does that, there's a reflection of another baby deer, mm-hmm. like a, a girl baby deer, looking in the water. And she walks towards, she smiles and laughing and has walked towards him and he runs away. He's like afraid. And then, so he runs back and he hides behind his mother. But she, his, so his mother's eating in the meadow and with the other baby deer's mom, the one that's chasing him. And his mom goes, that's Feline. And Feline turns to her mom and goes, he's kind of bashful, isn't he, mama? Well, he wouldn't be if you said hello. So Feline says, hello, Bambi. Yeah. <laughs> hello, Bambi. And Bambi's like too shy. Bambi's like, you know, a shy, 
And then his mom goes, you're not scared, are you, Bambi? And Bambi goes, hmm. He doesn't say, no, I'm not scared, right? He says no. And then so Bambi's mom pushes him in front of Feline and says, hello. Bambi goes, so shy. He goes, hello, like really softly. And Feline laughs and starts chasing him. And so she chases him into, like, this, like, little pond area that's covered by tall grass. Yeah. And so he's, like, in the pond, and Feline keeps popping out of different places in the grass and, like, licking him. Right. Ooh. Yeah. That's hot. And Bambi gets mad and goes, you, and starts chasing her. So he starts chasing her, and they're playing, right? She's playing, chasing her, and he chases her on top of this rock. And when they get to the top of the rock, you see all the male deer, like, stags, in the field, the all big, the stags. The big old dicks. Yeah. Sure. Huge dick. They see these huge dick deer, right? Whoa. And. Stag. <laughs> they're all. Snape's Patronus is a stag. Um, so. <laughs> I don't know if this comes out before or after the Harry Potter episode, but if it comes out after. If before, you'll get it later. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but if not, oops. Uh, yeah. So. Um, yeah, so uh, he's just watching all the stag, and they're all running through the meadow, and some of them are bashing antlers together, like they're doing dude stuff. Oh, that's dude shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's hard. And they're like prancing through the meadow, and Bambi tries copying. Yeah, Bambi tries copying them, and you know, it's just like, yeah, hey, I'm prancing. And I prance. You see them all prance around, and all of a sudden they all stop. And at the edge of the meadow in the forest comes this big male deer, and he's got the biggest antlers. Oh, big cock. Yeah. And everyone respects him. Everyone stops and watches him, and he walks out in the forest all slowly, and Bambi's like, oh. Looking around at everyone, like everyone's stopping and looking at him, and the 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 big deer sta- stops in front of Bambi, looks at him, and just keeps walking. Oh, that's his dad. And then, uh, man, dads ain't shit. Huh? <laughs> and then Bambi's mother walks up to him, and he goes, "Why did everyone stop and stare at this one deer?" And Bambi's mom goes, "Well, he's the n- no deer in the forest has lived half as long as him. He is the very brave and very wise, and that's why they call him." The prince of the forest. So you see the prince of the forest. He walks out of the meadow back into the forest, right? And he's walking up the hill. You just follow him. And all of a sudden, he sees a flock of birds. But this time, they're like frantically flying away from something. Mm-hmm. And then Bambi's dad, uh, you know, well, you don't find out he's his dad, but he's dead. I knew he was dead. I called yeah, that. Yeah, you did call it. So I'm just, so Bambi's dad's like, he's got the big cock. Oh no. So he runs back to the meadow and he sort of presents himself. And all the deer look at him, like all scared. And then they see all the birds flying, and then every animal in the meadow fucking scatters. They're like, oh, bad, bad, bad. They run, right? And now Bambi's mom is looking for him because they're uh, he, they say got separated again. Bambi, Bambi. And Bambi's looking for his mom, like, mother, mother. Like they can't find each other, right? No. And like, like B- Bambi's almost getting trampled by the stampede to like leave. Lion King. Thing. Yeah. And so, you know, Bambi, mother. And then B- and now Bambi's all alone in the meadow, right? And they're all looking, they're still looking for you. They can't find each other. And Bambi's like, mother, mother, where are you? And then the prince of the forest finds Bambi and, like, motions for Bambi to follow him. So Bambi's following the prince, and then the mother comes and joins them as they're running, and they run into the thicket, boom, just as a shot rings out. Cut to. No! Bambi's mom coming out of the bush and looking around. She looks around, takes a deep breath, and goes, come on, Bambi, it's safe now. We don't have to hide anymore. Bambi goes, what happened, mother? Why did we run? Bambi's mom goes, man was in the forest. And they walk back in. Cut to. Wait, Bambi's dad's dead? Cut to. Leaves are, fa- it's fall now. You see the leaves falling off the tree. It's this, just orchestra music. Again, you can see the whole forest in fall as, you know, everything's sort of falling around. Oh, my God. Um, you see, this, this, is, this is one of my favorite shots in the movie. You see a line of deer walking past the watering hole. But you don't see the deer itself. You see the reflection of the deer in the water. So it's like a reflection of deer walking through the watering hole. And you see Bambi stop and watch the last two leaves fall into the watering hole. But the whole shot is from the reflection. So time has passed. Time is passing, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yo, you, you said this was a kid's movie. This is a kid's movie. This is the most intense fucking movie. We might as well be doing mis- <laughs> uh, Misery. Yeah, this is. Oh, no, it's very intense. This is Misery. Uh, it's very intense, but it's also very nice. It's, you'll see. So is misery. Yeah. When you survive the end, because that's what this feels like right now. <laughs> that's funny. That is funny. Oh my god, this is uh, scary. It's a really good movie, though. <laughs> Terrified. It is. Oh, and it, like I said, you watch this, and you be like, "Oh, this is a gorgeous movie." Oh, I bet a, it looks. I bet it looks really nice. Yeah, and old school drawing shit. Old you know? school, dra- old school drawing. But like I said, this, the, how good this movie is, is just like 
it'll take you back to being there in 1942 and being like, oh, this is incredible. Yeah. This is incredible. It's it, like, like I said, like the, the whole fall scene is just drawing. And you'll really see what I mean when you, the shots and the reflection. I'd be like, damn, they really did that back then. God, that'd be so cool to put myself <clears throat> watching it like at a movie theater in 1942. As a white then, guy, because you had to somebody, be white. Yeah, and then somebody be like, nigga, get out of here. Yeah. And I'm like, damn. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I couldn't help but think that too. It was like, oh man, all these voice actors are so white, like they're extra white. God. Yeah, I mean, you could hear it in the voices. If it's like, damn, these guys are white. Um, <laughs> all right, keep, keep going. Yeah. All right, so cut to now. Bambi's waking up in the thicket, and he's super excited because the ground is covered in snow. And he goes, "Mother, look, what's all that white stuff?" And Bambi's mom goes, "Why it's snow." Bambi. This is his first winter. Yep. Bambi goes, "Snow." And Bambi's mom goes, yeah, winter has come. So Bambi goes out, and he starts playing in the snow, and the Night King is there. No, he starts playing in the snow. <laughs> Don't scare me like that. Yeah, oh, yeah. Then this I'll be like, oh, this is going to get really bad at the end? Yeah, this, turn, this turns up. Yeah, this turns up. Did you get my joke, though? Yeah, I did. I, I did get, yeah, Bambi ends up in a wheelchair, but, you know, some dwarf gives him the title of king in the forest for some reason. And I was like, oh, uh, that's bullshit. Yeah, come on. All this buildup for this? No. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> this has a better payoff. Uh, <laughs> so... Bambi starts playing in the snow, and he's, like, frolicking in this music. And then Thumper jumps from the snow. <laughs> and goes, hiya, Bambi. Watch what I can do. And so Thumper jumps from the snow onto the pond, which is frozen over. And he starts, like, sliding around, right, on the pond. And Bambi goes, come on, Bambi. And he thumps the ice. The water is still. So Bambi jumps on the ice and falls on all four. I've seen that shot. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I've seen that shot. And he's sliding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a and, famous shot. Yes, very famous shot. And he keeps trying to get up, and he can't. And Thumper's trying to help him, and Thumper's, like, laughing and skating around him like he's Michelle fucking Kwan. Like, it's, like he's so good on the Michelle ice. Michelle Kwan. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I wrote that down, because that's what it reminded me of. It's like Michelle Kwan. Did you look up to make sure, wait, this is the right bitch? Oh, no, I remember Michelle Kwan. Okay. Yeah, that's the, that's the last, that's probably the last figure skater that I could name. I, Tanya. Yeah, I mean, but Ta- Tanya Harding came before Kwan. Well, I know, I, Tanya. Okay, well, I, I, anything post Michelle Kwan, I don't think I can name a single finger skater. No. No, there was that Korean girl, K- Queen something, Queen yeah. Sue or something like that. And then Michael Phelps swam. Yeah, okay. That's yes. as close as I can get. Again, way different sport, huh? Uh, that's as close as I can get. Get to figure skating? <laughs> I'll give you that. As far as like, no, that's as close as I can get. It is water-based. Yeah. Yeah, and that's I'll give you that. That's the best I got. That's, yeah. <laughs> um, so he tries to help Bambi up, and, you know, Bambi's like wobbly, right? And he gets Bambi up for a second and then Bambi slides on the ice and then crashes into a snowbank at the end right and then Thumper crashes with him you know and he's like clearing out his ears and they hear snoring right so he follows the snoring and there's like they're near a tree and in the under the tree there's some roots and they see Flower the skunk sleeping and then uh, Thumper wakes him up with his thumping and the skunk goes is it spring yet and Thumper goes what are you doing hibernating and the, you know Flower goes "Mm mm-hmm Thumper goes, what you want to do that for? Skunks hibernate? I guess. Wow. And then uh, the skunk goes, all flowers sleep in the winter. Well, good night. And he grabs his tail and he uses it as a blanket and he falls back asleep. Wow, let me know, Beaners. Do skunks actually hibernate? I'm sure one of you weirdos has a pet skunk. Oh, so God. let us know. Oh, yeah. You can have. You can get pet skunks, actually. So, oh, I'm yeah. sure one of our lists. Oh, one of you motherfuckers has a pet skunk. Let us know. I'm and sure and send us pictures. We'll, yeah. post, we'll post it on our feed. If you have a sk- Pet skunk will post it on our feed. Skunk beans. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so now we cut to Bambi, his mom, and the other deer are walking through a blizzard. And it's like oppressive blizzard. You can tell. Like all the deers are like they're, they're, they're all like walking with their head down and all walking slowly. And the food is scarce. Like they're eating bark off a tree. And at first, Bambi and his mom are eating the bark. And then you see them walk through the blizzard some more. And then the bark is stripped so high up that only Bambi's mom can reach it and then bring it down to Bambi. And then they get to a tree where the bark is just stripped so high up, even Bambi's mom can't reach it. Damn. Right? And so they go back after that. These niggas hungry. Mm-hmm. They go back. Where's the big dad? They go back into the thicket, into their den, you know, where there's. And then Bambi goes, Winter sure is long, isn't it? His mom goes, It seems long, but it won't last forever. I'm awful hungry, mother. Yes, I know. Damn, bro. These niggas po. <laughs> And then, I mean, oh my God, they're being hunted and they're poor. All deers are poor. There's no rich deer. And that's what hurts the most. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, where's the, I need classism in my Bambi. There's no bourgeois deer. 
Look at you. Yeah. <laughs> you, you're a son of a gun. <laughs> That's what you are. So. Bourgeois. <laughs> bourgeois deer. Cut through now. The snow is thawing. And there's bits of grass uh, popping out. And Bambi goes, come on. Bambi's mom goes, Bambi, come here. New spring grass. And they're eating grass out in the meadow. Right? And so they're eating grass and the music gets ominous all of a sudden. And Bambi's mom's head shoots up. She looks around. And she goes, Bambi, quick, to the thicket. So they start running and a gunshot rings out. Bam, right? And they run and Bambi's like scanning, looks back and Bambi's like, goes faster, faster. And Bambi looks back and she goes, don't look back. Just keep running, right? And we see Bambi. He makes it to the forest. And then, bam, you hear another gunshot. And you see Bambi. He's running, he's running. He runs back all the way to his den. And he goes, we made it. We made it, mother. No. Mother? He calls out in the forest. It starts bl- snowing again. Mother, mother, where are you? And he's walking around. He's walking around. Mother, where are you? And he keeps on walking around. Mother. And he starts crying. Mother. And then he runs into the prince of the forest, the big deer. And the prince goes, your mother can't be with you anymore. And Bambi gets sad. Come, my son. So he follows the male deer and he looks back. Fade to black. No! No! You feel it. They make you I like. I didn't want her to die like that, man. And I wanted her to die when I didn't know she was a good mom. Yeah. She could have just been some crack whore deer mom. Yeah. Some, yeah. some bad deer mom <laughs> that, that was going to beat him anyway and nope. touch on him. No. Nope. No, she, she was a good mom. And now this fucking guy is like, now I'll be a dad. Fuck you, guy. They, they, they invest. Earn my respect, stag. They, inv- they make you invested in the mother this fuck before man. they kill her off. Let me see what this father because talking it's about Disney. Now. Fuck you. Well, let's see what this dad. Maybe this dad's a good guy. But as of now, I'll tell you how my how I feel about the father. All right, mm-hmm. well, I'll find out. So we cut to and it's spring again, and you see birds are singing. Tra la 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 la, tra la 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 la. Let's sing a gay little spring song. This is the season to sing. So I'd like to suggest that we do our best and warble a song about spring, 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 spring. Right, And you see all the birds. The birds are singing, quote unquote, but they're all like coupled up. They're all paired up. They're all like rubbing on each other. Right. And the song wakes up the owl and the owl is mad. The owl's like, cut that racket out. Whoo! And he hoos really loud and all the birds get scared and they stop. And the owl goes, that's good. And he tries to go back to sleep and the birds are like, let's sing a gay little spring song. Right? Do they say gay or are you just saying gay? No, no, it's gay. Okay. Let's sing a gay. Back then, what if you were, No, but what if uh, you were like, no, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm throwing that in there. I decided to add that in <laughs> because I felt a whole homosexual vibe to this <laughs> part of the song. And so I was like, this song doesn't have it, but I need to add it. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, back in you know back in the forties when gay just meant happy. Gay just meant happy back mm-hmm. then. And bag meant cigarette. Yeah, yeah. And homosexuals. And nigga meant cookies. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and homosexuals were just sins against God. Hey, I saw him. Um, God. No, 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 no. That's, that's how a lot of people think now, still actually. Um, Dude, anyways, you are a little sinner. Yeah. So the owl goes, Ah, oh, God, it's the same thing every spring. Tweet, tweet, tweet. It's just a pain in my tail feather. I say. So he goes and he goes flies to another branch and he tries to fall asleep, and he gets shaken awake. Just the, the whole tree shakes, and he looks down, and you see a young adult Bambi with horns and shit. With horns? With horns. And he's, like, sharpening his horns on the tree. And Al goes, gay, get out of here, guy, or whatever the fuck, you know? And then and the Bambi goes, Al, don't you remember me? <gasps> Bambi, my how you've grown up. You know, people were wondering what happened to you. <laughs> Damn, where'd he go? He wanted some Batman shit? Some Batman Begins shit? Yeah, yeah, he went, uh, he went trained somewhere, you know? With Ra's al Ghul. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, and now he's back. And Thumper hops up. He goes, hello, Bambi. Remember me? Thumper. And then Flower walks up. Hi, fellas. Flower. Right? They're all happy to see each other. And then Flower goes, yeah, it's me. And he smells the flowers. And then they see birds flying around them doing kind of a mating dance. Uh-huh. Right? That's hot. And then uh, Flower goes, what's the matter with them? And Thumper goes, yeah, why are they acting that way? And the owl goes, oh, don't you know? They're Twitter painted. The boys are like, Twitter painted? Oh, why everybody gets Twitter painted in the springtime. Twitter, T W I T T E. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Okay, well, weirdly, I'd have its time. Uh, and the owl explains, like, so you're, so you're walking through the forest, and you look to your left, and you look to your right, and all of a sudden, you see a pretty face, and you're weak in the knees, and you feel lighter than the feather. And the next thing you know, you're walking on air, and you lose your head, and you act all weird, and then you're Twitter painted. Preach. And the boys are like, wow, that sounds awful. And he goes, well, anyone can get Twitter painted. It can happen to you. He points at Bambi. It can happen to you. 
He points at Thumper. And yes, even you. And he points at Flower. Which I always thought, like, why, 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 why are you yeah, why can't, Flower why, like why that? Why wouldn't skunks also yeah, fucking right? procreate? Right, yeah. You dick. That was a, I thought that was a dick move. That was a dick move. And then the boys are like, well, that'll never happen to us. We'll never get Twitter painted. So they all walk away with their heads up, you know? Like, we're above all this. Right, and they're walking in a line. So the line goes Bambi, Thumper, and Flower. And they're all walking, right? So they're walking in a line. You know, you got the orchestra, uh, orchestra music playing. And then a female skunk sees Flower, Flower coming towards them. Right, so she hides in some bushes. And once Flower, who's in the back of the line, walks past him, she coughs. And Thumper looks back at him like... Oh, not Thumper, sorry. Flower looks back... And like, what? What's going on? And he looks, and he sees the bush of flowers that she's hiding in, and she pops her eyes out, and, thump, and then the flower's like, wow, you know? And then she comes out, and flower sees her, and flower's like... Twitter-baited. Yeah, infatuated with her, right? Twitter-baited. Twitter-baited. She, he is Twitter-baited. And then he goes and looks back like, oh, I should join my boys? And then she waves at him, and then kisses him. Like, on, on the, the lips? Mouth, on the lips. And he, be, he becomes, his whole body becomes super red and super hard and erect. Well, I mean, I agree with you. Hey, yeah. first off, Flower, get that motherfucking skunky pussy. Yeah. Secondly, she's a little whore. Well, well, you know. And I'm going to say that, <laughs> and that's what she is. You yeah. don't run around kissing people on the mouth. Well, you don't know how skunks work, but what if that's uh, what if that's uh, totally cool in skunk religion? It's not going to be cool in Jesus' religion, the one true religion. Well, you know, that's arguable. Uh <laughs> <laughs> What if Skunk Christ is like, this? how you do it? Oh, damn, there is going to be a Skunk Christ. Yeah. If there's a human Christ, why wouldn't there be a Skunk Christ? A rabbit ant, Christ, a, rabbit a deer Christ. Christ. Yeah, Christ. yeah, yeah, yeah. A uh, black people Christ. Right, no, well, let's keep it to, you know, animals. Um, <laughs> racism. This is 1942. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> You're son of a bitch, dude. <laughs> um, right, so, so, um... You, now you go, you see Thumper and Bambi, and they look back, and they see, um, they see, Flower, yeah, walking away with the girl skunk, getting that, getting that booze, and a, and then uh, you know, the Flower turns around and just shrugs, and then f- keeps on following, the girl skunk, right? So now, he's a simp. Hey, everyone's a simp. <laughs> when they're allowed to be, hell yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, as as, he, as as TikTok would say, that was not for the boys. Flower. No, that was not for the boys. That definitely wasn't for the boys. But hey, get some. Um, so next, it's just now Thumper and Bambi walking on. Bambi in the front, Thumper in the back. So a female rabbit sees Thumper oh, coming. Oh no, not not Thumpy Thump. They got Thump man. No, they got thump. not Thumpy Thump. They got Thump. They got the they got the bros of the bros. You that's know, so my boy, dog. No, my boy ain't going out like no simp. Tell that's me what happens. Oh he don't go out like man. No simp. Oh man. Tell me. Oh man, I wish. No, I don't believe I wish. you. So as they walk by, the female rabbit makes a noise, right? And Thumper looks and spies the spies the female rabbit. Now the girl rabbit pretends to not notice him. She's like primping herself up and making herself look all pretty. And Thumper is like, <gasps> he's like his eyes become big. You know what I mean? He's and then and Twitter baited. He's t- totally Twitter baited. And then she finally looks at him and goes hello. And then she like walks towards him seductively. You know, she's like, like, and like, la, 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 like doing that sort of shit. And Thumper starts thumping real hard. Been there, brother. Thumper starts thumping real hard, right? Been and then there. cuts at Bambi. And Bambi turns around and he sees Thumper. And Thumper is laying on her lap and she's playing with his ears and he's just thumping his foot. Simp. Simp. Yeah. Yo, you're supposed to fucking keep playing games, video games with the boys, bro. You're not supposed to lay in your girl's lap on some bitch shit, Thump. Uh, well, hey, they got Thumper, man. They got Thumper. That's simp, dude. They got Thumper. Damn. Bambi Bambi shakes his head in disappointment and goes, ah, Twitter baited. Right? Yep. Twitter baited pussies. I'm never going to be Twitter baited. So Bambi is now drinking water from a watering hole because that's where he stops and sees Thumper. He's near a watering hole. So he's drinking. And then in the watering hole, he sees a reflection of another deer. A female deer and the deer goes hello bambi don't you remember me and it's feline this is mother yeah oh my god lion king yeah no it's feline and he's awestruck and shy again and he like he does the same exact move when he sees her the first time when he backs away all shy and yeah. he falls down and she laughs and she licks him licks him again i think so. i'm she pretty is sure with the shit yeah and then he, and then bambi is twitter baited he is she licked him yeah he is like so you see them prancing together but they're like prancing on clouds 
Like that's what he feels like. He feels like he's prancing on clouds, right? And so they're prancing on clouds, and she disappears in the one cloud, and Bambi's about to follow him, and then another her. Apollo her, sorry. And then another buck comes out with his horns down, like trying to challenge Bambi. And then Bambi's illusion is broken, and you see they're back in the meadow, or back on the back in the forest, and the other buck has come from a bush. And Feline comes back because Feline ran ahead. She goes, I goes, Bambi, Bambi. And the other buck sees Feline and tries to, like, take her off for himself. And, and rape her. Bambi goes, Feline goes, Bambi, Bambi. And Bambi gets all mad. And then tr- he charges at the other buck, at the other stag buck, at the other buck. We'll say buck, right? Walkie. Yeah. At the other, at Giannis. He charges at Giannis. That's what we'll call this guy. <laughs> so he charges at Giannis. And they get into a fight. And you see they're fighting. It's all through silhouettes. So sometimes Giannis gets the best of Bambi. Sometimes Bambi gets the best of Giannis, right? So they fight, they fight, they lock horns, they fight. And finally, Bambi takes Giannis and throws him off this sm- small little cliff, and not far, into some water. Damn. Yeah. And then Feline goes, Bambi. And then she rubs up on, a rubble rub next to him. He saved her from a rape. Mm-hmm. Yeah. From Giannis Antetokounmpo. From Giannis Antetokounmpo, Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, this is uh, this is again, like I said, ahead of its time. Twitter painted it, Giannis Antetokounmpo. <laughs> yeah, the Buck is wearing a thirty-four jersey the whole time. It's crazy. Damn. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what else I just realized? What? We did back-to-back animated movies. And back-to-back movies where the bad guy is man. <sighs> Was that on purpose? That wasn't on purpose. I had. I because you were we we knew you were doing a reverse on this one mm-hmm. we way before I knew about sausage yeah. party so I yeah I watched I watched Bambi again last week yeah and then it happened that I did sausage, sausage party, party right yeah. before and it was kind of perfect crazy yeah I wa- the opposite of animated movies yes these are you know you know sausage party is hilarious it ain't I wouldn't call it a masterpiece necessarily you could argue that this is a masterpiece okay I wasn't even talking about that yeah. I was talking about nigga they're both animated. But one was a great time and it's super silly. Yeah, and this, this is was, crazy this, dark. Yeah, this is crazy dark. Crazy scary. This is a yeah. This super is super fucking fucked up. The sex is heavy. Yeah. Oh, this, this is, is like a, Breaking Bad. <laughs> <laughs> this is yeah, this is this is this is a lot of there's a lot of things going on in this thematically for an like, hour long movie. Going on, but it's, it's supposed to be a lot going on. Yeah, and it's I more, thought you were gonna tell me a kids movie. This is not a fucking kids movie. <laughs> this is this about, about this is about life lessons about not getting your fucking wig split. Yeah, and getting your dick wet. Yeah, this is yeah. This, this whole section is about getting your dick wet. Um, yeah, get it, you get it, you get what I'm saying. For the idea, Feline snuggles up to him, and they walk through a meadow. And the, the you know there's a song plays in the background. I bring you a song, and I sing as I go, for I want you to know mm. that I'm looking for romance. Ooh, okay, with the row. I bring you a song, for I hope that you see yeah. when you're looking at me. Yeah. I'm looking for love. I'm seeking that glow. Only found when you're young and it's May. Only found on that wonderful day when all the longing is through. And the two are running through a meadow at night together. It's very romantic if you're a deer. Yeah, this is... You're running... <laughs> you're, they're running so through you were a saying if this was one of them were deer and one of them was a human, they'd be like, I don't like this. Yeah, someone would be like, "This is something's wrong here. It's also very romantic, I guess, if you're two humans, but it's also like you're in the night in the middle of the forest, so it's this like, element of fear through it. There's yeah, no lights. Yeah, a lot of running. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. If you're a deer, this is amazing. Yeah, I'm sure this is exactly what you want. Yeah, yeah. They're running together. Probably and a metaphor for deer sex. You know what? Definitely a metaphor for deer sex. All right? So it's like Bollywood. When they're running through the meadow, that's pretty much a metaphor for sex. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm-hmm. I know that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I think I've said that on here before, so... <laughs> I think you have. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so cut to they're lying next to each other, Bambi and Feline, in that same thicket. Yeah. Yeah. And then Bambi wakes up and he carefully moves through the forest, like looking around. Something is off, right? Oh shit. He stands on the ridge, goes up the ridge, he stands on the ridge, and he sees a smoke. He sees smoke from a huge campfire in the distance. Okay. Like a and you see like bits of the camp. And the prince of the forest walks up to him and goes, It's man. He is here again. There are many this time. We must go deep in the forest. Hurry, follow me. So he tries. To, he starts to follow the prince, and he goes, Feline! Right, so he runs back to where Feline is. Feline now wakes up and goes, Bambi? Bambi? And she walks, and she leaves. And as she leaves, Bambi shows up. Feline! Nigga, classic miscue. Yeah, yeah. And then, just as Bambi arrives in the spots, 
you know, the, the birds that warned them that the man was there last time? Yeah. They start squawking and running, right? So all the animals are like, oh, we got to fucking go. It's game time. So they go, right? Now you see a group of birds hiding in the grass, right? And there's like two birds. And the first bird's like, he's coming. And the second bird's like, stay calm. And the first bird's like, we got to fly. And the second bird's whatever you do, don't fly. And the first bird's like, he's almost here. I can't stand any longer. And she flies. Bam! Oh. You see her body. <laughs> Hit the ground. Damn, nigga. It's, people are dying like Harry Potter in this bitch. The second the body hits the ground, all the other animals fucking scatter, right? And, bro, this shit, this scene is a, a lot. So all the animals. Bambi and the Deathly Hollows? And that's what this <laughs> yeah. is? Jesus Christ. This is, yeah, this is Bambi and the uh, Order of the Phoenix. Oh, Lord. Yeah. So as the other animals are running, bro, gunshots are exploding on the ground next to all of them. Just, you know, like, like. Chipmunks are going and trying to go to a hole, and then right as they're about to go in, bam! A gunshot destroys the hole, so they gotta keep Jesus. running. Who's the, trying to get chipmunks? Bro. Thumper's family is running, and bam, bam! Just gunshots exploding on them. Thumper's the, family. The hunter gets a couple more birds because you see just like, pff, like explosions of feathers all around them. Right. So, Feline at this time, and Bambi are still looking for each other, and Bambi's getting shot at. Feline, Bambi, Bambi, Feline, they're looking for each other. Feline goes up to this ridge and thinks Bambi. And over the ridge, a pack of hunting dogs come at her. So now, these hunting dogs are chasing Feline, right? And Feline, like, runs up this, like, rocky hill, I would say, right? And she's getting cornered by the dogs. And she jumps up on this, like, so it's like they're on this hill. And there's, like, a rock face. And there's, like, a little ledge. So she jumps up on the ledge. And the hunting dogs are, like, she's stuck there. And the hunting dogs are, like, trying to attack her, right? They're getting close. They're biting her, biting her. And she goes, Bambi, Bambi. And Bambi hears her. So Bambi comes, and it is now running full speed at the dogs, and fucking takes them out with his antlers. Bambi! Bro, and then he fucks- More these... like the Bambino. Oh, I- sure. And then he- bro, he fucks these dogs up, like, like kung fu movie style, bro. He hits them with his antlers, he hits them with his feet, they come at him one at a time. No you know what I mean? way! Bro, he's- 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 Bambi Lee in this. You know what I mean? He's fucking people up. I didn't write that down. That was all me well, right man, now. I didn't just say Bambino. So, yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, we can go all day, guys. Bambi Lee. Yeah. Bambi Chan. <laughs> this motherfucker's Bambi Chan in this scene, bro. He is fucking these Bambi dogs B. Jordan, dog. up. Bambi P. Jordan. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's what the B stands for, Bambi. <laughs> He's Michael Bambi Jordan. <laughs> so... <laughs> so Bambi goes He gives him time He goes Feline runs So Feline runs away He gives time Get for Feline to run Get the fuck out of there Feline right? So all the dogs now Are on top of Bambi Like they're uh, They're they're uh, eating this nigga they're, they're getting him And Bambi's able to shake him off And then he's able to run off That rocky cliff face Cliff face right So he runs up He's able to Like as he's running up The do- the rocks He's drawing loose Hits the dogs down right Okay. So he's on top And he's running And there's so it's like So he's on top of this hill there's, like, more land of force on this side, and there's, like, a small little canyon, right? Like, little gap. So he runs, and he jumps over the canyon thing, and all you hear, bam! Right, and he f- gets to the other side, falls down. He can't get back up. His leg is fucked up. Don't you tell me that. <laughs> Don't you tell me that. So now we come back to the human camp. You, see the, not, not, you, you never see any humans in this. There's no human. You never see them. But you see the camp. And you see that they don't put their campfire out properly. So now everything around them starts catching on fire. Right? Nigga, just from bad to worse. Yeah. So Bambi's lying wounded. And the prince comes up to him and goes, get up, Bambi. Get up. You must get up. Get up. So Bambi gets up and he starts. Uh, the prince goes, come with me. And Bambi follows the prince. He's limping. Right? Because he's his son. He's like, bro, you got you to gotta keep the legacy going. Mm-hmm. And as he leaves, the fire engulfs the place where Bambi was just laying down. So now they're walking, and all of a sudden the fire gets more intense, and now it's raining embers on them. And now they're trying to walk, and then, the, you know, the adrenaline takes Bambi from limping to running. Now they're all running. Him and the prince are running. And everywhere they go, they try to go one way, fire pops up. They have to go another way. Try to go another way, fire pops up, right? They get to the edge of a waterfall, and they, they seem like they're, they look like they're stuck, and they turn around. This is animated so well. This, there's a log coming at them. There's a tree coming at them, completely on fire and rotating. So it's like spinning and coming out that fast. So there's nothing they can do. They jump down the waterfall. Right? What in the fuck is this movie, bro? (laughs) Yeah. You didn't tell me this was The Fugitive. Yeah. Oh, this is, there's a lot going on in this movie. This movie is so good. This is not a kid's movie. This movie is so good. 
<laughs> but this is serious. This is very serious. I know this is good. I'm, this is amazing. This yeah. is amazing. But I'm saying yeah. this is not a child's movie. Kids movie, baby. VHS. Watched it all the time as a kid. Uh, you know it's funny? We had it on VHS and I never watched it. Never watched it. it. That's it's wild. Like, that doesn't make any sense. That's wild. Yeah, that's wild that you had it. Like, I can see if you never got it, but I you had it. it. We had it. It was on VHS. I yeah. remember the cover. Yeah, it's him and the, him and the flower and thumper. It was light green. Uh, it was like a greenish case. Yes, it was very light green and very happy and very not indicative of what happens in this movie. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so, bro, so you see, you see, like, on the other side of the river now. Where the, you know they jump into the other side of the river and you see the animals are all coming out of the water and all of them have their babies and they're all fucked up. Yeah, from fire and war. Yeah, they're all fucked up, right? And you see Feline looking over the water, all like, "Where's my baby? Where's he at?" And you see the last two out of the water are Bambi and the prince. And Feline, you know, hugs up on Bambi and Bambi's reunited with Feline. Cut to the owl is sleeping in the tree, like in the beginning of the movie, right? Thumper runs up with all his kids. They're all thumping all together. Wake up, Grandpa Owl, wake up. And the owl's like, what's happening? And then Flower comes by and goes, it's happening. Come on. And Flower motions to his son to follow. His son's like, I'm coming, Dad. And the animals run, all the run. skunk? Yeah. He got, okay, from his skunk pussy. Yeah. yeah. So the animals all run, all happy, into the thicket from the, like, from the beginning of the mm-hmm. movie. And they see Feline sleeping with two young deer. Two princes. To well, maybe a prince and a princess. I don't know. They don't really so go. Do they over. have to have sex? No. They don't have to have sex. I don't think they. I don't think the deer royal bloodline works like the human royal bloodline. Um. Thank God. <laughs> otherwise, otherwise, Bambi would have like Bambi would be all deformed and oh, have like don't you do three that. feet. Hey. Yeah. And look, you, you ever notice how all the royal family is ugly as shit? There's a reason for that. Um. Bambi's an adorable deer. There's no way he's inbred. You were gonna get a like, band like, from like somewhere. Prince Charles and all those people. Dude. Um, so Europe, I am so sorry. Mm, I'm not. We disrespected your masters. I'm not. Also, England, your royal family's German. Fucking do better. Get an English sure. royal family. Also, people started dissing our royal family, like LeBron James and <laughs> Kardashians. I wouldn't care. Well, LeBron James didn't fuck his own cousin. No, he just dominates. Yeah, that's what your prince should be. Not some cousin fucker. <laughs> you are a bad boy today. Uh, <laughs> that Bambi in you. Yes, you know, you know how it is. Dark, dark, <laughs> dark episode. That darkness. Yeah. So the owl looks at the two kids and be like, "I'm two. Wow, well, he's got two. Prince Bambi must be mighty proud." And Feline looks up, and you see Bambi and the Prince of the Forest on that same like overlook, looking up over everything. And the Prince of the Forest walks away. So it's just Bambi standing tall, looking out over his woods now. The camera pans back. The camera, the camera pans like out, and the opera singing, you know, love from the song from the beginning starts. The end. A Walt Disney production. Wait, so the dad lives through the whole thing? Yeah, and he sort of the way he sort of the metaphor of him dying is him walking away and leaving Bambi to be the prince of the forest. Okay, but we don't know if he dies in that moment. No, no, no. we don't know if he dies in that moment. But that's what you know what I mean. That's the metaphor. The, yeah, yeah, yeah. Is, is that it's now Bambi's time. I get mm-hmm. that. No, this, oh, dude, this was a fucking amazing. But I can't believe the dad survived. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Usually it's the other way around in Disney movies. Also, I thought Bambi was gonna die multiple times. I thought, I mean, I thought all of them were gonna die. Thumper's family, I thought, was dead. Yeah, for sure. Oh, bro, that scene where they are getting shot at is so real. What is going on with this movie? It is, bro. Walt Disney was on some shit, bro. He was on some shit when he wrote he this. He was on some shit. I think his fir- like his first five movies were Snow White. It made me really want to watch those other movies again that you haven't seen or you've seen them. I don't. I don't think I don't. I've never seen Snow White. Uh, I've seen Pinocchio. I haven't seen Dumbo. Oh, I had that on the list. Yeah, and then Fantasia was his other in his, in his first I've five. You seen that? I seen that. Yeah, and, seen and that's White. also that's also hard to explain. Yeah, it sucks. Yeah, well, I always hated it. Well, I, I get that people love it, but that's that's five that's five of his first six. So he really hit it out of the ballpark right there. But maybe I'd like Fantasia if I did acid. Mm-hmm. That's that might be true. That's a very drug movie. Yeah, but you know it's like uh, what's it called? Uh, the it made, it made me want to revisit those because I was watching this like oh man this is amazing and then there's nothing there was nothing like that. Cause it's like it, it, it's hard to make a movie. Lion like- King's the only thing, yo. Cause this whole time, this was reminding me of Lion, like when I kept talking about how fucked up it is. The closest thing that I could even think that's close to this is yeah. Lion King. Yes. Uh, what what makes what makes these awesome is that it's every bit of its time as it is ahead of its time. Meaning yes, that, yes, like, uh, preach. I love that. Meaning, I love that. Meaning that it's good now. 
but you could almost never make a movie like this now because this takes element from the silent era movies mm-hmm. where it's like, so that gives for something for adults, right? Where they're like, oh, I grew up on movies like this mm-hmm. while something for the kids, right? Mm-hmm. Where it's like, if you did that now, it would just kind of be like played. It would be played out. Yeah. So it's like, that's what I mean. It's above its time, but like, you know, Twitter paid it, stuff like that. It's like, we, that's words we use now. Oh, Twitter yeah, is in our lexicon. Yes, that sir. is culturally important. So that's what I mean. It's every bit of its time as it is ahead of its time. Oh, I love that. Mm-hmm. That's beautiful. I, I 100% agree with that statement. That mm-hmm. is, it is a, of its time as it is ahead of its time. At One million percent. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, he, just hearing it, I, I haven't heard of an animated movie that good other than Lion King. Yeah, and something the, with something that's like it ain't like going because you know I love Inside Out. I right. love Inside Out. You know, right. I love I love Zootopia too. I love mm-hmm. the new ones. I love those. But this is scary. Lion King, scary. Nigga. Yeah, yeah. This is you know what I'm saying. And, and this has that feeling of like, what the fuck is gonna happen? Yeah, there is the and the pacing of this is so good because as I was watching it today, at the point where Bambi dies and it had X amount of time left, I was like, damn. Bambi's mom. Bambi's mom. Sorry, Bambi's mom dies. So when Bambi's mom dies. Well, you know, I saw where it was on the thing, right? Mm-hmm. With how many minutes left. It's like, damn, they still fit all like the whole getting your dick wet stuff. Like, all the dick, and, dick wet stuff. And the fire scene in a short amount of time. It's go- it moves really, it moves hour really 10, quickly. No hour 10, there's nothing. The hour 30, an hour, because think about this, an hour 30 minute movie has no fat. Right. So an hour 10 minute movie means you cut meat. Yeah. <laughs> you like, you were like, yo, let's get the trimmest, nicest meat. Like out of the meat, let's get the nicest cuts. Yeah. You know what I'm saying, and yeah. that's a perfect movie. So I mean, it's Bambi. Mm-hmm. That's and mm-hmm. you told me a perfect movie, bro. I was I was in it, start to finish. I was in it. Uh, you did a very good job telling it, brother. And I the love vi- the songs. The villain you don't see, which is amazing. It's such an amazing choice. That's the best villain. Yo, uh, yeah. I mean, we talk about it all the time with Terminator Two. The best, the, the the reason that villain's so good, he doesn't speak. Yeah. The the uh, uh, the least the less a villain does, the better. Right. I believe that. Way Absolutely. scary. Absolutely. That's why Freddy vs. Jason is, not, is the opposite of scary because they're both, you know, <laughs> having a UFC match. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. And, yeah, they're just doing a lot. And if Jason never speaks, but he might as well. Oh, and that one? He yeah. might as well broke break dance. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, what? Yes, I would say Bambi is the exact opposite of Freddy vs. Jason. <laughs> 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 One million percent, dude. Yeah. That was a fucking awesome movie, though. I, I, I'm excited to watch it tomorrow yeah. morning. Uh, what a great way to wrap up the season, man. Yeah. One of the biggest movies ever made. I ever was, made. I was really ha- – I was when I saw it on the list, I was like, I can't wait to do this. And then when you did Sausage Party, I was like, this God. is the perfect follow-up. Fuck yeah, man. I was, uh, we, were, we, were on, we were on the same page but here. But you knew we you were wrapping the season up with a big banger. With, a, with, with Bambi. With a big ba- I mean, with one Bambi. of the biggest movies ever. Because I was, I, fuck yeah. I was nervous it. on what I was going to do, and I saw it on the list, and I was like, yes, fuck yes. This Dude. movie is awesome. And as an adult, I really made me appreciate this movie. I'm going to watch it tomorrow morning. I can't wait. Mm-hmm. I mean – this is the shit. We ended with a fucking reverse for you, Beaners. We love you guys. Nine seasons. Nine motherfucking seasons. You've rocked with us. We're going to start season 10 off with a motherfucking bang. bang. I promise you, season 10 is going to start with a lot of fun. We love you guys. See, we'll you, see soon. you soon.